that's loud. Holy crap. Why was the game not there? Wow, that was loud. I'm sorry. Holy crap. Let me fix that. Jesus Christ. I thought that was going to be a, like a, the chill vibes as always, but no. Just boom. Loud lo-fi. Call that loud fi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Coffee talk returns. We're back at it. And don't quite remember where we left off. I'm just, I just really want to check. Do I, do I still have my save file? Oh, wait. Is it? Wait, okay. Wait, I think this is my save file. Yeah, it says welcome, Ike. Okay. <sighs> okay. We, we have had kind of bad luck with this stuff. So, <laughs> uh, you can never be too sure. Also, I want to give a big apology in advance because I... I'm not confident in my reading skills this stream because I didn't get a lot of sleep and I'm a little bit loopy right now. So if I seem a little bit out of it more than usual, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the way things are right now. Konbawa, konbawa. Good evening. Mm. But yeah, I hope that you all are having a lovely evening, lovely day, lovely morning, wherever you are in the world. And I hope that we have a chill time today. We're just gonna jump right back into it and see how long it takes before my voice gets tired of doing a VA. Uh, well, maybe I should press continue. That's probably smarter. All right. We're back at it now. <laughs> EP Ikey, so cute. Oh, you. <laughs> Oh, Lord, we haven't even, <laughs> we've gotten into the street. We've barely started playing and we already have a James Supa. I'm going to enjoy reading that later. <laughs> it's James. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, God, my nose is so stuffy. So if I, if you have me sniffling or anything, I'm sorry. All right. Let's get back into it. Oh. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Hmm. Okay, so what? Now you got me curious. Now I want to know what it is. I kill you ready to see best girl aqua. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Harumi. It's so they're considered best girl now, eh? I don't know, there's a lot of candidates. Oh man. Speak of the devil. Oh, Aqua, fancy seeing you again so soon. Uh, hi Freya. I don't remember how I voiced them. <laughs> And I don't think I can do an Ivy voice today, so sorry about that. As it might hear, my voice is still a little bit in more morning, morning voice mode, so... Yay! <laughs> we got bass today. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good. How about you? Fine, thank you. And you? Oops. We can't do this this early on. I will not have it. I will not stand for it. Oops. I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? <laughs> so far, it's only me and Ike. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. Well, my high range is just like non-existent today. I keep showing, what is showing? What, that they're a little bit nervous? Happens to the best of us. Happens to everybody, what are you on about? <laughs> oh God. Mm. Put those cameras away or God help me. Uh, I do have notifications here, so what's this? Tomodachill. Oh, okay. I see, I see. 
Do we have new things on the brew pad? Okay. Things I am very bad at pronouncing. Undubitably. Alright. Am I, am I the only one seeing this? I mean, I know this is probably supposed to be someone else, but don't don't this look like someone we know? Or is it just me? Is it just my tired brain seeing this? The goggles and everything. A striking resembling to a character from League of Legends. <laughs> I'm just saying. What? <laughs> Silly Willy, what are you doing in this game? <clears throat> okay, let's keep going on. I need, to, I need to get this high range working. Oh, so help me. I was just wondering if she was coming here again tonight. That's a bit better. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you tell her to come and meet you here right now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. Mm, that wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. <laughs> e anyway... I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's alright, I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Yeah, boy hasn't been a bartender in a while. Or a barista, for that matter. Which are totally <laughs> different things that I just didn't accidentally confuse. Okay, so. What did tea with uh that's ginger a cinnamon no no she's i think the order is supposed to be important so tea lemon and cinnamon because apparently that's important you can, like if you swap any of these around then the outcome like changes sometimes all right uh, let's brew this Russian tea? Is that what we're calling it? A cup of E. Uh, I'll, do, I'll just serve it, I guess. There you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Okay, so we got we got exactly what you wanted. Okay. Why is the tea Russian? I don't know. Maybe I was Russian to brew it. <clears throat> oh, you knew? <laughs> Let him brew! Let me brew! Man, welcome back, Ike. Feels good to be back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Whoa, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. <laughs> I guess I spent too much time browsing on the internet. Me too, Aqua, me too. I feel like Aqua would have been in like an, a guy online kid. Don't don't ask me what that means. I just feel like like yeah. When 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 she was young and dumb, she probably had an account.
I see it. She is real. Okay, so it's not just me. <clears throat> when did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. <laughs> blub, blub, blub. <laughs> Finish drinking first, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left? <laughs> I was just joking. Oh. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. I... I I didn't mean to offend you or anything. God, I cannot do f feminine voices today. <laughs> it's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Ike. Please, make sure that you get enough rest. Oh God, the game's calling me out. No. Hmm. <laughs> It knows. It knows. <laughs> Immersion 5000 now. <laughs> See, I can't even do my squeaks. Hmm. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? Oh! She's from abroad. I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Oh, but I mean, I guess that's fair. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic? See? I cannot do this. <clears throat> um, uh, how do I usually do this? Oh, okay. mm, I don't know. Is this better? <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. Oh my god. Ah, girl voice, girl voice. Um, okay, so, oh, okay, maybe this is a little bit better. I don't know. <laughs> ah, I haven't practiced this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. <clears throat> that was a gross noise. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. Okay, we're doing way better now. <laughs> you moved with your family? No. I'm the only one who can move here. Oh. May I know why? It's, um, not easy for our people. Especially the females. To get, um... Higher education. I got a scholarship and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know? But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can. Do you know how hard it is for my people to visit to get a US visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. We're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have siblings? Of course. We are sea people. <laughs> My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa. That's a lot. <laughs> you really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you come my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy... How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? <laughs> I have. Not as many as you, I assume. Layla! Why are you here? <coughs> Layla! What is with ID and walking in on me at weird times? No! Advert your gaze. You tell me what? Man. There's been Mika, there's been Hana, there's been Layla. 
Why? Why do you why would why do I keep getting walked in on my ID? I hope you're doing well, Layla, by the way. Hope everything is peach. Apparently I opened the stream at the right time. Shh, okay, Jet, let him concentrate with his marvelous voice acting. Please let me wither away. <clears throat> okay, maybe maybe that's enough of the girl voice. <clears throat> how, how, God, how do I giggle? I forgot. I have a little brother. I'm four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco. Near a parent's house. He's a good kid and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job. While taking care of my dad on the weekends. You're doing amazing, please don't stop. <laughs> Thanks, Layla. <laughs> it's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. <clears throat> you should. <laughs> oh god, that's cute. Visit them while you can. I'm just kind of turning into Elmo at this point. Elmo doesn't really drink coffee. <laughs> and why is my Elmo better than anything else today? Elmo didn't hear anything! <laughs> I want to order something. <laughs> Another espresso? You know, the usual. Espresso? Is that just coffee, coffee, coffee? Uh, Russian tea. Cool. Uh, espresso. Yeah, coffee, coffee, coffee. Boom, boom, boom. Let him brew. Your espresso is ready. Thanks. It's Elmo's birthday today? You're joking. Is it actually? Is it actually Elmo's birthday today? Can somebody fact check that? Somebody rock the wiki? If that's the if that's the reason that my Elmo is good today, then I just assume that it's the power of Elmo's spirit being channeled through me due to it being his birthday. Oh, February 3rd. It was yesterday. It was yesterday, wasn't it? Oh, dang. So it's just, it's just lingering then. So many people were just like, oh my god, it is today. But then everybody was like, no, 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 no. It was yesterday. <laughs> Remember, time is very much a real thing that you gotta worry about sometimes. I should know better than anyone. Coincidence? Coincidence? I think not! <laughs> Sorry. Bitter. Just the way I love it. Who do we got today? Oh! Good evening, sir. Oh god, what, how do I voice this guy? Good evening. Hmm. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. Hold on, I need water for that. That dries out my throat instantly. Good job, me. Yeah, cheers! Mm -mm. Ah, 
Okay. Now I'm ready. How can I help you? How can I help you, sir? Can't speak. Uh, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Thing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you'd like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. You can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. <laughs> Lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Teller Madu Jahe. I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation. It's Indonesian, and I know that I have Indonesian viewers, so they're probably laughing their heads off right now. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> you said it right? <laughs> Keep lying to me. It makes me happy. <laughs> it means egg. Milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, do you have eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf, but I'll add an egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that. One cup of STMJ, please. Alright! So... Let's... Check if. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? I wonder if Layla's still here. Could you ma What are the odds? Layla shows up and I'm cooking an Indonesian drink. Okay, so. It was. Milk? Oh god, what, what order was it? I forgot what it was. STMJ. Uh, where's the egg? Where's the egg? Uh, honey. Okay, how do how do I add eggs? All right. Uh, I guess I just add that afterwards. Okay. Okay. Honey, ginger, milk. Uh, I mean, that is what we're looking for. We're just missing the egg. Here's your STMJ. Let's see. There's no egg. What about the egg? You almost got it right. I'm sorry. Care to point out the mistakes? I guess it's the honey. You should have put the ginger in after the milk. Oh! Is it that picky? Is it really that picky? Hmm. Load game. Let's see. It's... What day is it? I forgot. Is it the 18th? I assume so. Or which one are we on? I forgot. <laughs> ah. Maybe, maybe I should just keep going. I can't just save scum forever. He didn't say anything about the egg. I, I guess the egg wasn't- missing egg wasn't the important part. It was putting one ingredient in after the other. Oh my god, MPL! I hope it's okay that I call you MPL, but thank you for the 20 gifted. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Aww. And there was 20 gifted from Ayami earlier as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Reload. I want to reload, but I don't know what day I'm on. Is it 18? I don't know. There's day 14 over here, but 14 is not on here. So I assume that's just something I ho hovered over. Oh, it's just day number 14, maybe? The star icon is on today. Oh, is it? Oh, that makes it so much easier. But how can I jump forward? Oh, they're blocked out. Okay. Now then make that that makes a lot more sense. All right. I am a slow boy today. There we go. Okay. Now we're cooking. Man, 2020 really did a number on the world. Let's see. Research found that the most hmm, furious sedative on the market are not safe. Hmm. Start the day. Okay, I think this is where we left off last time. So let's uh, fast forward a little bit. I read that as furry sedative. You weren't the only one. I read it like that too. Okay, a cup of tea with lemon, lemon and cinnamon. I remember how to do that. Tea, lemon, cinnamon. I thought, I mean, I get, there are fur, furry characters in this game, I guess you could make the argument for. Okay, coffee, coffee, coffee. I remember. Not the furry sedative. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Now we just gotta remember what order did he want us to do it in. Okay, so was milk so I should have put in the honey after the ginger isn't it's like this Th this is how I should have done it if I remember correctly there's a ginger after hun honey yep ginger first who do I believe? Why can't you ever be on the same page, chat? <laughs> I'm just gonna guess this. There we go, STMJ. Okay, much better. Here's your STMJ, sir. Mmm, that smell. It brings back so many memories. It's quite difficult to find a place with a proper STMJ here in the States. I've traveled to so many places, and none of them got the got it right. You're the first one to manage it. Cool. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you, you kids like doing nowadays? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh. A cat, thank you very much for the 10 gifted. That's so kind of you. Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. <laughs> Whoa. I see. I don't know. I cannot do exclamations. Uh, may I ask how old you are? Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, I... I just... Who's this pervy old man? I want to... I have no idea, it's his first time! I want to be able to understand young people. How do I reach these kids? Mm. Lydia, thank you for the thing gifted as well. Thank you. Hey, my man Georgie is back. <clears throat> oh, thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. <laughs> this man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. <laughs> he asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh. I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. <laughs> she has no filter. Doesn't matter that it's Rachel's dad. She'll just call him right up anyways. Okay. <laughs> no wonder she ran away from home. Everyone, please miss meet Mr. Furlong. Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Ike. Please call me Henry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny, so I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Freya's a rebel? <laughs> uh, seemingly so, I guess? Middle-aged cat, man? <laughs> I don't know. That sounds oddly scathing, <laughs> for some reason. Mm. Your name is Henry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel... F Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong? Florencia? Why do you have different last names? <laughs> what are you trying to pull? Oh? I, I sent some troubles. Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh. I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. Oof. Linny, thank you for the five gifted. That's so kind of you. Many gifters tonight? Yeah! So much generosity. It makes me happy. More people getting put on the path to those sparkly diamond nibs. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Uh, Rhea, I'll come with you. I'm so inconsistent. Jazz King, thank you for the five gifted. Anyway, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. <laughs> that night when you drove her home. Was she hanging out with shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. Nah, I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and I here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? It's just that I feel she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we ended up fighting. Ooh, that's rough. I don't know, what are kids into these days? Skibbity toilet, sticking out your gad... F 
phantom tax. That's also another thing. I don't know. Mm. Generation gap. <laughs> A lot of people are saying VTubers, but in my experience, like, most VTuber fans are adults. Like, at our me uh, meet and greets that we have sometimes, there's like, majority of the people that come to see me at the very least tend to be at the very, like, at the youngest young adults, in my experience. It's moms for you, honestly. Yeah, for me, it's moms. Also, please don't don't start saying like, oh, really? I'm this many years old in chat. <laughs> keep that, that, that's important information for you to keep safe, especially if you're young. Hmm. Okay, and moving on. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. But be there when they need you. Or you can just bribe them. Bribe them? One time, I had a fight with my eldest daughter. <laughs> she didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so we went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. I just waited her for her to take the bait. It was like a stakeout. And while she took a bite out of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. Man, I also have leftover pizza. I kind of want some now. <laughs> Not the pizza bait. I mean, I think it's like more or less a given. Like, there's just a few foods in the world where you can just assume that like 99% of people are gonna like be okay with this in some form. And I feel like pizza is one of those. Like, I don't think I've ever met a person that doesn't like pizza. I've met uh, people that don't eat pizza with, like, uh, um, with, like, dairy on it or, like, for either for lactose reasons or, like, uh, ve uh, vegan reasons. Like, there's vegan pizza. Like, there's a, there's a pizza that suits everybody, you know. Unless you're allergic, well, then you can just take off what you're allergic to unless you're... Allergic, allergic to gluten, in which case, I guess you can just make gluten-free dough. I feel like that's a thing that you can do, unless I'm terribly misinformed. Pizza, for the most part, is universal. Yeah, but that parentheses, for the most part, is, is very important. Because, obviously, there are people that can't have pizza, or there's going to be a minuscule, minuscule group of people that are just like, Nah, pizza is just not for me, fam. Now I'm craving pizza. Me too. Maybe I'll have pizza later. <laughs> what if what she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry is in a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Jesus Christ, or forced to do drugs. Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened. Yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible you're just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe. Take care on your way out. Did I misread that? I feel like I misread that. I need to go now. I don't know why I read that as no. I need to go now. I read it as I need, I need to know. Bye, Aqua. 
Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel is already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really not much we can do. Now, other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. But what if she makes the wrong choices? I can't do a background check on that manager. If that will ease with your mind. Please do. He's so worried. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Morris Lester. Got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Hold on, I gotta take this. Take your time, Georgie. I've just got a call. I gotta go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait. You have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait. Hmm. That name sounds... That name? What? Morris Lester? Jesus That took me a second Oh Jesus Okay that's on the nose That's Rather on the nose Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to manage a girl band. Was it the Shags? <laughs> I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yep. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Hmm. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. They're wanting to do more of her own stuff. I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo career. It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol. Even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might get might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from her achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. I mean, I get where he's coming from. Is he being a little bit overprotective? Yeah. But do I I'll get where he's coming from? Also, yes. Like, it's not hard to know that showbiz is full with a bunch of, like, yikes stuff. There's plenty of documentaries about, like, uh, young pop stars or young movie stars and just, like, the environments that they get put in sometimes where they really, really should not be, especially at that age. Is it really what's best, though? I think she's born to soar. 
but... But she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. Doesn't matter whether she's a boy or girl. We'll drive her away if you keep acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I... I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Ike? Take all the time that you need. I, I have a question, don't we all? <laughs> what is your question? <laughs> Let's see, black magic, sweet, cool, and magically wakes you up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, chat, I'm curious. What's the most rebellious thing that you've done? Have you ever, have you ever had like a, I'm gonna run away moment? I snuck out at midnight, okay. Feel you on that one. I I jumped out my window several times <laughs> to go exploring or go hang out with a friend. Cut class, okay, respectable. Not none of these are being endorsed, by the way. Please stay in school, be good, do good things, good do good deeds. But I'm curious. Jumped a fence to play basketball. Okay. I burned a textbook. Okay. Skip class. Stole a piece of candy. Do not steal. But I hope the candy was good. Got on a tattoo. Ooh, against against uh, some someone's wishes. Okay, that's that's pretty spicy. Okay. I burnt a plushie. Why would you do that to a plushie? Plushies are so nice. Oh well. For, as for myself, I once climbed a really tall building using a fire escape ladder. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I, but I did do that once. Let's see. Why though? <laughs> I was out with a friend and uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. We couldn't really reach the fire escape ladder, so we went to like a nearby establishment, jumped over a fence, which we should not have done. That fence was there for a reason. Borrowed a ladder so that we could reach up to the fire escape ladder, then climbed that for like the building was pretty tall. It's like maybe 70 meters. And we had a bag of energy drinks with us, so. When we got up, we enjoyed the view and enjoyed a drink. He also watched the sunrise. It's pretty neat. Disclaimer, do not do this. It is very stupid and I do not condone it. <clears throat> Are you sure that will be okay? Yes! I mean... It would be really hard to pull off, but it's something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully. And gracefully. I know. Oh, he's back. Mmm. <clears throat> Boys are so funny. Hey, wanna climb that thing? Yes! It's the same with a really- the, the masculine urge to scale a really large hill. Hey, Gala. Oh god, what did I do for him? <clears throat> I was doing like really deep voice for him, didn't I? Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. 
Bang, thank you for the five gifted. Am I interrupting? It looked like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Ike was just giving me some feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Sounds like... <clears throat> sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit to relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although, I need to interrupt Ike for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Hmm... Do you remember my remedy? Of course. And do you want me to give it a try again? Or do you want to give it a try again? My last order might have been the right drink. But let's give it a try again. Just to be sure. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. I don't remember what it is. Let's see. Is it on the brew pad? Surely. Oh, God, I don't remember. Oh, is it this one? Ginger chai latte. The Galahad. Okay, ginger chai latte. Good yet warm. Okay. Uh, green tea. And then it's like. Milk and ginger, I believe. Hopefully I didn't mess this up. I'm really bad at reading the UI. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Judging from the smell, this looks like it. Indeed. I have the same feeling. I've made note of that mixture. Perfect. <clears throat> God. <clears throat> anyway, please, don't mind me and continue on with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gala, we're done for the night. You're done? I have a lot of new homework thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? No. I'm by myself tonight. It's gonna be a peaceful night, then. That's mean, Freya. Oh, come on. I was just joking. Let's learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He might not look like it. But he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. Oh, come on. I like this back and forth that the protagonist is having with Freya. Oh, Bayliss? Let's go. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back, Mr. Bayliss. I don't remember how I voiced him, so I'm just gonna do that. Hey! Uh. How are you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Mike was criticizing my story. It's called feedback. It's cruel. It's necessary. I was just about to say that. I was so close to saying that. If I hadn't clicked, I would have said it's necessary right before it showed up. I don't like how in line this is with how I actually am. Hmm. Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose-your-own-adventure storybook, but for adults. Sounds pretty common so far. Ike is Ike, truly. But instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. <laughs> what? 
That score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I know it's not that original, but my target here is the mainstream audience. Hmm? With the help of my publisher, this kind of book may go mainstream. Just like the Choose Your Own Adventure show on that stream. There's nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached the mainstream market. Are they talking about Bandersnatch? I'm f they're absolutely talking about Bandersnatch, aren't they? That sounds interesting. And highly ambitious, Freya. <laughs> At least it's simpler than my other idea. <laughs> Which is... Making the novel not in the form of a book. But in the form of story cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world. And that's before even considering the sensitive issues. Of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. <laughs> what did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until you've finished it, okay? Alright, alright. As I said though, I won't have the time. Could you imagine that? A world where only humans exist? That doesn't sound very fun. What a boring world, yeah? I agree. I prefer having my uh, worlds filled with mermaids, dragons, r rose maidens, spirits from heaven and hell, all that good jazz. That's how I prefer my world. <laughs> hey! As Hike said, though, I won't have the time. Getting a normal pitch approved already is a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. <laughs> Welcome to Niji Sanji. <laughs> Welcome to Niji Sanji. You're here forever now. Only humans would have a monotonous diet. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Wait, think about it. What if that implies only humans, like, point-blank period? Like, no animals, no nothing. They better get good at farming, otherwise they're gonna start eating each other. Fair enough. Uh, what's the story all about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. I don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. Should just be like... Tea, milk, and ginger, right? Perhaps? Where's the- no, latte is coffee, right? So maybe it's... Like so. Maybe I should save. Just in case. Let's see. Hold on, let me- what's my best Darth Sidious voice? Brew it! Brew it! <laughs> Instead of do it, it's just brew it! Milk and ginger coffee? Nope. Trash it. Have I done it before, maybe? Cappuccino. Do, 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 ginger. Ginger latte is not here, it seems. Hmm. Maybe I put in the ginger first? Hmm. 
maybe like this, like coffee, ginger, milk, brew it. Yeah, that's it. Here you go. Thanks. Damn, this is good. With this kind of drink making skill, I wonder why your place isn't bigger. <laughs> what we have here is more than enough for me. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know why I felt compelled to say it in that kind of inflection and accent, but here we are. He kind of looks like Ren. You know what? I can see it. I see it. It's the ears. I think it's the ears too. By the way, how are you doing, Bayless? Still busy with your last client? Oh, I'm done with her. Done? And you're dropping the project? Hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. Done as in I've finished the job. I spent the past few days making sure it's even done before the deadline. <laughs> Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had complaints, of course, but I convinced her. Using some design terms she doesn't understand. So you finished your job by BSing her? <laughs> the finest BS, my lady. That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. God, if that isn't the truth. Holy crap, if that isn't the truth. Okay, so, obviously, my main, my main thing that I do is I'm a novelist. I write books. That's my main thing. That's what I, that's what I used to do full time. But, you see, when you arrive in an entirely new time period when nobody knows who you are, it's a little bit hard to convince a publisher like, no, s please, swear, I'm really good at I swear, I'm really good at this. Please, can you publish me? I need some money. Nobody's gonna buy that. So, Sometimes you have to get a little bit of a side gig, and as the resident mixy boy, sometimes I've done mixing for others. And let me tell you, there are so many times where you're working with people, like, by the way, I'm, ta I'm talking about, like, normies now, like, th think, think just like any 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 like regular dude or like that just wants to get recorded like that just like a, j j just just like a random guy or a random band or anything like i'm not i'm talking not talking about any other sort of like uh, like a um, like content creators or anything like <laughs> this is just an experience i had once where there it's just like so many people that will like ask you to like do something for them in terms of mixing and they don't exactly know what it is that they want. So you'll give them what you think that they want or like that you're pretty sure that they want from their descriptions and they will come with the most strange requests. But the thing is, you can't just tell them that makes no sense. I can't do that for you. You just have to go, yeah, absolutely. I'll just do this and that and just invent some terms and like, and that'll make it like work out perfectly. Trust me, bro. I got your best interests at hand here. And so, like, for example, uh, I remember hearing once that, oh, could you make this one thing like 0.2 decibels louder? And I was like, absolutely, my guy. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'm, I'm even gonna add like this one thing that's gonna add like a nice console saturation to the whole sound that makes it sound more analog and warm and I think that's gonna bring it bring it that extra like that extra perceived 0.2 decibel through the uh, through the harmonic saturation alone just saying something like that and you, you just went like oh yeah that sounds perfect I sent them the exact same thing I like I literally didn't change anything I just exported a new file sent it to them and they just went yeah you fixed it. It sounds better now. 
So freelancers absolutely have to BS. Mm. Placebo effect, yep. <laughs> Moving on. Are you working on anything right now? No. I'm taking a break from work. The brown guy keeps laughing, just like Ren. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm uh, never doing that again. I need to work on a few personal matters. Oh. Like you and Lua? <laughs> Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know. Itchy, thank you very much for the super chat. Like, it hurts. Some people don't really know what they want. There's so many times I changed almost nothing and they said now it's better. See, Itchy, I know that you do mixing, so you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Every single person that has done mixing for other uh, other people in my chat right now, you we all know like when you're just like, I barely changed anything. How like, what do you mean it's fine now? So <laughs> shrugs, man. Disclaimer, I have also been that person. Asking for very silly changes for other things. And there are also times where I have been in the wrong, where I have disregarded certain notes that other people have had that have I have later like t turned out to be entirely valid notes that I that I agreed with I just tunnel visioned and li just listened to the finished product way way later down the line and think to myself oh okay they had a point yikes oh that's stupid of me so you live and you learn I don't feel like I do that as much anymore I've grown wiser over the years the vibes are just off yeah <laughs> My favorite, uh, my favorite mix note that I have ever seen was a DM between a mixer and uh, an artist. And the, the artist goes, can you add more audio blur? And the, uh, and the guy just goes, do you mean reverb? And he goes, yeah, that. Audio blur. Audio blur. What? <laughs> I mean, on one hand, I kind of, I kind of get how they came to that conclusion. Like sometimes you try to describe things in terms that are terms that you know. For example, maybe if you're a graphic designer or a visual person, maybe when you think something goes up into a blurry mess, that. That's supposed to sound like reverb, so I kind of get it. Where I've sometimes used uh, like weird terms that I'm familiar with relating to audio or visuals to describe things that are ne neither of those things. Audio blur is wild. I mean, it's like calling tissue paper or sneeze paper. I mean, still kind of accurate though. <laughs> Gaussian reverb. <laughs> The point is that the mixer guessed it guessed it right. Yeah, that's the thing. The mixer was able to know right off the bat what what they were talking about. So there's even like there's a meme. I think I have this meme around somewhere. I'm gonna look it up right now. I'm start. Sorry, we're pausing the game. I need to find this meme where they have done like various like pictures to show what like certain effects, like the way they sound, this is how they should look. It's gonna make sense when I show it, give me a second. Oh, it's it's this one, found it, found it, found it, found it. Okay, hold on, hold on, let me cook, let me cook. Let's see, images. I have to show this, we're, we're pausing the game to do this. See, browse. Oh god, I have so many mixer memes. I think it's this one. Here we go. It's this thing. 
<laughs> this thing right here. This is the most accurate way to visually describe various effects I've ever seen. Like, if you know anything about audio, you, you will find this hilarious because this is so accurate. Even if you know nothing about... And see? See Reverb? How they blurred it out? Audio blur! It's not that far-fetched, apparently. For visual learners. Exactly. How did I understand it? See? This- I love this image so much because it works, like, oddly well. For it to help people understand what certain effects do. The EQ is killing me. The EQ is my favorite thing. It's so good. <laughs> okay, away with E. Back to the game. <laughs> okay, moving on. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know? Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? <laughs> You're right. So, I was a bit of a player back in college. Of course you were. Of course you were. Ooh, it's spicy. And I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Come again? My then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Okay. That's not crazy outrageous. It's just a weird way of putting it. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Is that how you pronounce that? Like a friend of a friend? Friend? <laughs> friend in law? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, we are not making that... <laughs> making that a thing. <laughs> Friend-in-law. <laughs> Let's see, Cognac has a girlfriend. Still following. That girl has a friend. A friend is the one that I'm after. Oh, okay. Got it. She was... She was one of the hottest girls there. But everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. And why is that? And why? It's... Uh, I don't want to get into details. But this succubus was super hot. And all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player too. Huh? That doesn't sound like Lua at all. <laughs> because it wasn't Lua, genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Whoa! B -b what? What? Holy moly! This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was... Let's just call her Rose. Continue. I knew Lua thanks to her relationship with Cognac. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes! Because, like, his name is Bailey's. Now, will you let me continue without interruptions? Okay, okay. So... I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much. But I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Kanye back in college. I'd been out and I just got back just as Lua had arrived. Total coincidence. We went in our place together and witnessed something, uh, surprising. What? Kanye was sleeping with Rose. 
Oh! Holy mother of moly! I saw the look on Lua's face. Disbelief, anger, sadness. And without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. You what? I got into a fight with him. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you. Um, Cognac was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for kids. He is pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch. And he beat me to a pulp. Easily. Lua begged him to beg me to stop fighting on her behalf. <laughs> More like she begged Kanye. Hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I don't give up so easily. I was beaten pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. He grew closer after that. <laughs> and I don't even remember the exact date. But suddenly, that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. I know. Have you seen her by any chance? Man. Maybe, maybe I should pour some alcohol into Bailey's drink. I feel like he needs it. <laughs> Man's been through it. Lua came by a few days ago. How is she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. With whom? It was this male model. A model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? Well, spike his drink? Absolutely not. <laughs> what is this? This is, this is not like a high school ballroom where you just like pour a little bit of like vodka into the punch bowl. I'm not gonna do that. It's a cafe. I need to serve it high quality coffee or I'm gonna lose the few customers I have. So far, we've only seen like seven regulars. We were talking about your relationship. You had told us about the reason behind the fight. About your family stuff. And then this guy, Hyde, joined the discussion. What did he say? He didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval. Considering, you know. What? You're willing to leave your own family? You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Oh, he's just sipping the tea over here. He's just like, ooh, this tea is piping hot. He hit us with the sip. Mmm. Let me tell you about my family. Or should I say, most elven families. I, they think they're all so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. You must never ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs that are deemed quote unquote worthy or successful. Like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. You know, ever since I was a kid, I have always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something else would deem suitable. Unless you became the next Da Vinci. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. They told me that I'd never be rich or successful. All that because you chose an art degree? You wanna know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. Yelled about how ki her kind is ruining the country. Accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Whoa. I mean, come on, it's the 21st century. That's so not cool. 
I don't want to sound judgmental, but <laughs> your family's racist. Tell me about it. Never did I think that we were going to talk about racism during the stream, but here we are. Okay, cool. Hmm. Lua is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lua is obsessed with the idea of recon reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know? I would happily leave them for the both of us. What about her? What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family. However, it may not be the same for her. Gala coming in. He's been listening for such a long time. Now he's speaking up. I... Gala, do you have something to say? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assume that the person that you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yes, she is a succubus. I see. Hmm. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack. But we don't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? I... <laughs> I never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. One day, you might regret your decisions. One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. Damn. He cooked him. Jesus. Laying down some cold hard truth. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work. Because life, life is full of storms. In marriage, you will not survive on love alone. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, I was about to say, add some that's a banger quote right there. I just tried drinking my water bottle without taking the cap off of it. Am I okay? How am I doing all right? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. Too invested. Yeah, I got too invested. I forgot to open my water bottle. So I just tried drinking with the cap on. Thank you for the one gifted. That's so kind of you. No! Oh, okay, so high range is starting to come back. Ugh. We'll have each other and that's enough for us. Tell me, do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? 
Immortality is an elven pr elven pr privilege. But you'll lose it if your family disowns you. What? That's a thing? Jesus, that jump <laughs> scared me. The health insurance jump scare? I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured. Emptied their entire life savings for an $8 pill. Because in this country, they charge $20,000 for it. And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privileges you do. There's a high probability they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've got to go. I apologize for my intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. I've got to go too. Wanna head out together? Sure. Thanks for the thanks for the drink, Ike. And Freya. Bye. Well, that got heavy. I didn't expect that. Yeah, look at me. Look at me being speechless. What the heck? I wasn't expecting things to take that much of a turn. Oh, so Gala, Gala cooked him. He absolutely like. Mm. No words. Holy crap. That's the kind of talk you have with the boys over beer. I don't know. I'd be scared to have that kind of a talk. Because I, I feel like I would step on toes. What if I say something that like is perceived as insensitive? So that's why I usually keep my opinions to myself. I tend to not want to comment on those kind of th kind of things unless it's like invited. Like if somebody is like hey like hey Ike I need advice then that that's like the one time that I'll give my opinion. Otherwise, I don't know. Unsolicited opinion is kind of yucky, and I don't want to be that guy. If that makes sense. What? You made me lose two customers in one minute. Hey, that wasn't me. They were leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in your book? <laughs> it's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world where only humans are around? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration? Sounds like a great idea. Hmm. Lemony Snippet, a fortunate tale in a cup. Mm, the vibes, they're immaculate. September 29th. Surely those problems don't exist in a world with only humans. Yeah, absolutely not. Couchella 2020. Ten reasons you should go. Reason one. Miku! Mmm. Let's see. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decade wa decades away. Wait, I I know this meme. Who? Wor well, wor World Health Organization vows to stop major hospitals selling fury sedatives illegally. Oh! I forgot. How did I voice hide? I, I thought I made him, like, really... Like... Oh, kind of like that. He never... He really never changed. <laughs> I know. But it was surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, Ike. I'd like to order again. The usual. <laughs> back to the experiment? Yes. I think the last one was the remedy. There's no harm in checking some combinations. Alright. You know what to do. 
So am I doing a combination or the usual? I don't know. Kinako san, arigato gozaimas. Master Ikue no kohi dai. Arigato gozaimas. Tsuki wa archive de mimas. Oyasumiku. Oyasumiku. Thank you for coming. Hope you sleep well. Alright. Mmm. I don't know if I commented on this before, but I swear the background music is like a lo-fi version you know, of like Furelis or however you pronounce the, that thing. No, 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 not Furelis. Eh, Claire, Claire de Lune. Claire de Lune, isn't it? Furelis is... That's something different. I think you did. Yeah, I probably did. But I completely forgot about it. So it took me by um it took me by complete surprise. You like classical music? I I love classical music. I love Bach and Tchaikovsky. Always down for some Bach. Let's see. Uh what was it now again? Uh, it was tea, milk, and ginger. Tea, milk, ginger. Brew. Brew it. Serve. Russian composers are so good and good. Absolutely. Try this. Thank you. Just what I needed. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? And <laughs> didn't you meet here? Yeah, when it was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. <laughs> Those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I'd had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. <laughs> a couple? Really? <laughs> you were trashed, Hyde. <laughs> you told him I was your bodyguard. <laughs> Wait, you were not his bodyguard? <laughs> not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive, so I hailed a cab. Turns out, he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until the morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me stranded on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to f confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money, so I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. <laughs> what a stroke of luck. The universe is sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. Am I, am I doing Hyde okay? <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, they definitely had something. Oh yeah, like <laughs> you'd had to be blind, blind, deaf, and no sense of smell. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before. 
Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke, breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? Hmm. War with veterans. Ah, I see. How? So what did you come from working as a bodyguard to working at the hospital gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed. I'd I prefer we skipped that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want him going to go into any details about it. It's all right. Forgive me for asking. Yeah, that's the thing. If you don't want to share, we'll just say so and people should back off. Anybody that doesn't is a jerk. <laughs> Not me saying that and then everybody in chat going, Tee! <laughs> Two kinds of people. <laughs> uh, don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with, um, something. Let's just say something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran were werewolf to become a nurse or a doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So, you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. And thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, Ike, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Hmm? Come again? Uh, okay. T. Um. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, okay. But warm, though. Okay, is it. Mm. this but it's like the bitterness is kind of high but it is warm and cool at the same time Hold on, let's see tea mint maybe no it's just gonna bring the sweetness up bring the cool. mm -hmm. I'm feeling this I I'm, 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 I'm gonna try this let's see warm and cool at the same time Maybe? Mint ginger tea. I just want to put the ginger first. And see if it changes. Because apparently that's a thing in this game that I keep forgetting about. Let's do the ginger first. And then the mint. Ginger mint tea. Okay, let's just serve it. Hopefully this works. Here's your order. It is warm and cool. It's in... Except... I'm so good. In case you're wondering what that was, I just hit the boy in real life. <laughs> I just hit the boy. Exactly what I wanted. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Hmm? Is that them? Speak of the devil. 
Hello, good people! And one vampire. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Freya! By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. <laughs> Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? <laughs> that won't work on me. <laughs> I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. Dang, okay, the girls are fighting. Lucia, thank you for the five gifted. That's so kind of you. You... You look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work. Uh, how could you tell? It's called werewolf senses. Right. I showed Ike my draft. I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. And I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a pretty good day. That's good to hear. Well, please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away when, when, by work when you're on a roll. <laughs> Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admining life going? That's not even a word for you. Actually, I'm not even sure what you do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about, but mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. And things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations. I go through what we do and how much it will cost them. Kinda like the biz dev for people's lives, then. You could say that. Ike, your VA work, Taskaru. <laughs> Thanks, I'm trying. Doing several different voices is a, <laughs> a lot trickier than it seems. This side eyes from Hyde? Mmm. <laughs> God, I keep trying to drink this without with a cap on. I'm such an idiot. Mmm. Ah. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to the patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. <laughs> Good point. Why do people ra rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist. Or think about the necessity of it. I actually... Okay, so... Um, in Sweden, we have this thing... I, I Called Prao. Spelt uh, P-R-A-O. Where you... It's basically like interning at a place. But you only do it for like a few days. And uh, the first time I ever interned, I interned at a like at a hospital, and it was it was actually like a lot of work. So it was just like young Ike walking around there, like helping with things. I helped with printing out papers, doing like a, a sort of like send out message to everybody on that speci specific wing, I guess. I also helped with uh, some of the breakfast for patients. So that that was a thing I did for like two days. Uh, let's see, another time I talked about this before when I was interning at a a kindergarten, like a uh, kindergarten. So th I was there for like two days, and uh, I was a human like I was a walking jungle gym. They used me as a jungle gym. It wasn't very fun. Uh, the hospital one wasn't so bad actually. I didn't mind that one too much. And the longest internship I had was at a, uh, I don't know what to call it, like a, at a window shop or like, or like a glass, like workshop thing. Basically, we had we handled like a bunch of windows and um, things like that, like getting to like cut them up into cer certain measurements and. Like, a recycling glass. I got to break a bunch of windows that were going to get recycled. That was a lot of fun. But for the most part, I just kind of stood around during that time. So, that's actually when I learned to whistle. That internship was so boring that for... I think it was five days in total. 
I they barely gave me anything to do, so I just walked around and just like existed for for the majority of that time. And during the the most of that time, I tried learning how to whistle. And after like three or four days, I actually learned how to whistle because I had so little to do. So I have uh, my very boring internship to thank for being able to whistle. Were these appointed or chosen? Eh, chosen. They, you just get a note from school and then you just gotta fill it out. Or the person that is taking you under their wing at like the actual uh, location has to fill that out. It's for school? Yeah, it's a school thing. And then you gotta write a paper on your experience. You have many t different type of internships? Yeah, I guess so, but they're not like internships in a traditional sense. <sighs> exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just find any reason. I don't find any reason to. I had Prao at a flower shop. That's nice. We call those Schule, Schule Praktikum in German. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I see. Well, sometimes we call it to Praktisera. Like practicing at a workplace. So I, I guess that's sort of similar to that, so that, that that's why the words are so, uh, somewhat similar. For us, it's just called on-the-job training. Okay, I, I gotcha. I think Prao sounds a lot better than which is uh, me trying to pronounce O-T-J-T. <laughs> it's a lot easier when the acronym is actually speakable. Is it OGT? So OGT. OGT. <laughs> what did you do during this week? Oh, I just had some OGT. <laughs> it's the patient's personal lives anyway. It's such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. You. He needs a bit. L he needs to. Hmm? He needs to be a bit less loyal, though. Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost fifty years now. Whoa! I didn't know that. Wait, fifty years in the same position? Uh huh. Holy! Ask for a promotion, man. I was just gonna say. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. Good for him, feeling like he found his calling. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, Ike. And you, Freya. See ya. Take care on your way. Yes, the vibes. <laughs> you said the vibes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. <laughs> really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So, how'd you guys meet? 
Seriously, do I have to retell the story? Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Uh, Alright then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. Oh, okay, they're skipping it, thank goodness. Whoa! Never knew Gal used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he, did he make the jump from... How should I say this? A very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze this story from me? <laughs> Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya? Come on. I won't get into details, but going to war, it messes with your head. Oh, you see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength, so he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least the only thing he thought he could do. And you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he is good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then I got to be interested in him. Interested? We all saw it coming! I think he's a cool person. That's all. After a few months, I noticed this, uh, problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone, seek help, which he refused. No surprise there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found new purpose in his life. He quit working for me, and not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work- You're back! Let's go! Ugh. Spaceman, okay. Where's my thing? Does this still work? Okay, cool. Oh boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, Barista. Our how how did how did I voice him before? Hold on. Maybe I did this. Was it something like this? Oh yeah. This sounds more more right more like it. Okay, nice. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil? I see what they did there. Alistair? <laughs> You, oh, you mean from Hasbin Hotel? Oh, yeah, that's a thing now, isn't it? And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? <laughs> this is my best Alistair. Let's see, moving on. Neil. Is that your real name? No, oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like needs to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of association with Earthling's effort in intergalactic exploration. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. 
I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. <laughs> so, hello. My name's Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. Hide. You come here often. For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yes. Where do you come from? That was very loud. I'm very sorry. Okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be using this effect. Maybe this, this is, is enough. enough. Maybe I could just use this. Yay. Oh, oh, this is perfect. I'm using this one. Yay. <laughs> far away. By far away, do you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point of your strain calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this. We chose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Army Jindru album cover. I don't know what that is. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we're doing, this place is really the perfect spot for practice or communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes. Yes. So, uh, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. <laughs> really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt that you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Okay, I think I'm doing pretty well with that. Make the worst drink ever. Okay, how do I make someone feel something? Spice? I don't really think we have anything spicy, do we? I guess we can try making things as bitter as possible. Just all cinnamon? I don't know about that. Hmm. Make it hurt? I don't know. Hmm. Just ginger, I guess. Double ginger? This, this is like as hot as it'll go and as bitter as it'll go. Lemon? No, it adds to the coolness. I, th I think this will just hurt him. Ginger coffee. Hmm. Save first? Oh, good idea. Okay. Save the game first. Okay. I'm sorry, Neil. Okay. Let's see if this hurts. A cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. What the... Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking. That's how they drink. Oh boy. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes. 
normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us. Uh, this should be an among before that. We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with a mission to spread our seeds. You really are here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> wow. Turns out that pervs exist everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. I love that Neil does the little, like, finger tap thing. Mm. We are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, <laughs> the pleasure was mine. <laughs> if I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Oh man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. <laughs> With how quirky and unique you are. Not many women can handle that. <laughs> Yikes. No, Neil, my man, I'm so sorry. Could you handle them, though? <laughs> Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further. If you, it got you a good story. <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with them. But I don't like to sleep around. <laughs> really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, Miz. From what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner. In exchange for stories. But I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. That our mission is serious. <laughs> he makes a good argument, Freya. <laughs> it's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. Mm. 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 This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yep, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Yeah, about that. <laughs> now that you mention it, we don't have enough control over ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will. But we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least, that's what we gather from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? 
<laughs> First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating, boyfriends or girlfriends, you know, before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Neil is my favorite character so far. I love him so much. Yes, I, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now? The path to starting to- The path to starting to date varies between people. But usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It'd be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker. Someone good at communicating with others. That will be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still a to to mm, still in a totally different league. Most women prefer if their male partners wear condoms. This game is making me talk about things that I never thought that I would speak out loud on stream. Condoms. It's something you prevent wear to prevent pregnancy. Hmm. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? <laughs> what the hell am I reading? <laughs> Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. <laughs> Neil spent one evening trying to understand women and gave up after ten minutes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh. <laughs> oh, he's trying. He's trying his best. <laughs> he's such a silly guy. I don't know why I found that so fun. He's trying. I know he's trying, Chad. I know he's trying. Oh, <laughs> he's trying his very best. So we talked. Yeah, we sure did. I need to stand up. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take like a short breather. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> the things that this game makes me talk about. Uh. I return. Hello. Hiya. There we go. I decided to get a drink while I was at it. Tadaima. 
<laughs> okay. So. Neil. My man from space. How do you do the nasty? Like, seeing how you drink... It kinda might be something you can't use at all. Hmm... That's true. How do you do it? Why, why do we care? Oh, I just got an achievement for listening to all the songs. Cool. We are pretty flexible with that. In what regard? I that that mm. But we cannot tell you the details unless we agree to do the main ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Well, Freya, there's one way to find out. Give him a chance. Oh, you need not to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. <laughs> Why do you gotta specify that? I don't like that you gotta... Anyway. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. We did our research, and we tried it on the testing object we made. What the hell kind of object did you make? It was proven. What was? The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I'd have to agree with that. Anyway... Thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It's okay. Many others aren't sure either. And they have lived here their whole lives, Neil. Take your time. It is yet to be discussed, after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. Well then, that was interesting. Would Neil classify as a himbo? No. I don't think so. I think Neil is something we we humans have yet to comprehend. If anything, they might be a Zembo because they keep using like or or maybe they would be Zembos plural because they keep saying we. So that ju that that just makes me assume that they're a multiple or a system. Sorry, I, I don't know which is the correct term. Therapy, therapy fun for Neil trauma. <laughs> honestly, Neil wasn't the one giving me trauma, but <laughs> so honestly, it was just making me laugh. <laughs> Nobody has anything to say after that. That was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. Uh, they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer Orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. Yeah, it was pretty awkward. Neil is just Neil. That's fair. Mm. What's the name of that one character? Oh yeah, Najimi from um, Komi Can't Communicate. I like that. It, I think I talked about this before, but if you look up uh, uh, the character Najimi from uh, Komi-san wa Komi-usho, 
then <laughs> their gender is just listed as Najimi. And I love that. I love that for them. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. Oh god, my ears just popped so bad. I feel like I can hear the universe all of a sudden. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? <laughs> you mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Ooh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was pretty nosy, to the point where Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation. Thank you, mute button, for letting me burp. Unless it really piques his interest. Like Hideyoshi from Bakato Test? I'm gonna be real with you, I've never watched Bakato Test. I think I've seen like maybe two episodes of it, so I don't remember any of the characters. Hideyoshi gender. <laughs> Listen, you don't gotta worry about that kind of stuff. All that matters is the person cute. That's all. The, that's all you gotta worry about. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. What are you? What are you doing in Seoul? So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here before you know it. Oh, well, <laughs> it'll be a peaceful week then. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? <laughs> Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. In the rain? He's going to see BTS live. Of course. How silly of me. Hope you had a great time at the amusement park. Miss hearing you. Thank you very much. And yes, I had a very good time at the amusement park. It was a lot of fun. Alright then. See you around. Take care on your way, folks. Black Lemon. A perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. Hmm, interesting. Man, we've already been going for two hours? Dang, doesn't feel like it. You guys having a fun time? You guys chilling? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, good to hear. Good vibes, good vibes all around. Honestly, I feel like I should be drink drinking on something a lot more chill than a Red Bull, but here we are. <laughs> yes, Mr. Barista, you're doing great. You got it. I'll keep doing my job. Ooh, let's see here. Uh, protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. A dwarven made cars face challenge against unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. A lot of stuff happening. Also, I know the meme that they're referencing here. I can't believe, okay, I did not think that I would see Pepper Spray Cop in the year of our Lord 2024, but here I am. Jesus Christ. That's an old one. That's old, old. Welcome. Whoa! Bald! Mm. Um, good evening, sir. Hello. 
<laughs> I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division. Or, or fire for short. <laughs> How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. Oh no, Neil! Neil, you got the feds after you! We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Neil! Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. So, nice. In-game Ike is not a snitch. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We are not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. Hmm. That's, uh, a pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? Hmm. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we've been running around after false testimonies. Let's go! They are superior creatures after all. <laughs> Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. <laughs> Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Neil, we got you. Whew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? How much you want to bet that? Time to get the high voice up again. <clears throat> oh, God. <clears throat> Excuse me. The girls are back. Yeah. Good evening, Ike. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua. Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? to meet you. <laughs> it's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Um, do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? I, th I think it's getting a little bit better. I'm getting warmed up now. Ah! Thank you very much for the super chat, Dan Lion. I do not know how to read Hangul. So I will plug that into a translator right now. Please give me one second. Let's see. Let me see what that says. Ooh, okay. Next time, next time we do a latte drawing, I will do just that. Okay, cup of green tea with a lot of mint. Let's see, green tea. Not just mint, but a lot of mint. So let's see if we can get that going. It's, oh, I don't know if that's it. I'm gonna save the game, just to be sure. Okay, she didn't say a lot, so let's try it. Yeah, it looks really, really interesting. Your drink's ready. Ooh! This looks really fresh. I call it... Mm, mm, Marrakech. Marrakech? Mar Marrakech. I don't know. Inspired by its origin. Marrakech? In Morocco? I heard the people, they really love tea. Let's give this a try, then. Oh god, my voice is going. <clears throat> oh my! It's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is so often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have uh, the Tatarik. What the heck is that? Uh, do I have it? 
can see. Do -do 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 -do. Ba -ba 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 -da. It is undiscovered. What the heck is a Tataric? And I do not know what these things are. So I'm just gonna get rid of these notifications. <laughs> Full metal jarhead. Let's see. Let's see what they did there. Let's see. I'm just catching up on everybody. Mm hmm. Neil. Oh, you have nothing written. Come on, Neil. I'm like the most invested in him. Video games in general. Grandma, that's nice. Move to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find a place. It's tea with milk. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, Henry. Hello there. Okay, so. Um. What is the combo? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what it is. All milk? Are you sure? That's just milk. I'm just gonna... I don't remember if I saved. Yes. Override current progress. Uh... Nope. 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 Reset. milk and th that that's it shouldn't there be something more like with honey but it's I don't know I don't <laughs> Did I, was I not paying attention do I need to pay attention to like the, the little splash screens with various drinks in between or do, does it expect me to like experiment and find these recipes for myself tea tea Milk, maybe? Tea is like the only one that you can add like twice. Surely not the Oh! Let's go! It's just tilk. It's just tilk with two T's. Uh, that was pretty good. I like that one. Mmm. Here's your Tataric. Yeah, you guys got it. <laughs> Tilk. Huh. Is there anything wrong? No. <laughs> it's better than I thought it would be, actually. <laughs> the taste is uh, really authentic. Just like the Tataric you'd get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where'd you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. Oh, so you learn about it in Malaysia? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and from videos on the internet. So, um, how are uh, things at the office? As usual, tiring. But <laughs> thanks to you and your team, we made some good progress on a problem we've been stuck on for a while. <laughs> Malaysia ma mentioned! <laughs> Malaysia mentioned! <laughs> I love that that's a thing with any any sort of like smaller countries that whenever it gets brought up by anyone or in any setting or in any sort of media they're always just like blank mentioned <laughs> I love that that's become like a running thing like regardless of what culture you're from <laughs> Vietnam when I'm sure that we'll, we'll brew Vietnamese coffee at some point Research has an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime. 
make sure the game is available for the holiday season. Oh. I wanted to say, um, please don't forget to rest. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. <laughs> As if those ex hmm? executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. Then we all know. That optional overtime is passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. Mm. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. Mm. Mm. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or uh, at least see something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. Hmm. Poor Aqua. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this, so <laughs> don't worry about me, okay? Being used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. <laughs> hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us a lot. <laughs> Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going much to be much easier. How's your game going, by the way? Oh, well, actually, I have some good news about it. <laughs> what is it? Game got approved to be showcasing Max West this year. Max West instead of Pax? That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast. Before they give your spot to another indie. I... Just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? Oh, the booth is free for indies. Oh god. That's good then, and the event is even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But... I'm not that confident. <laughs> you passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional, and not since of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know? <laughs> You'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Game Gamers aren't stupid. Mm. What if some haters visit, visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. That's honestly so true. Like, the, um, uh, I think Mike Tyson put it the best, like, the internet has made people way too comfortable disrespecting people because they won't get punched in the mouth. Which is why people are, like, you, usually when they will chat the most intense, like, they, they, they will talk so much crap online, but the moment anybody, like, actually confronts them in person, they crumble 
instantly. Like, the amount of times I've seen YouTuber beef of people talking such trash to each other until one of them decides to be brave and, like, show up in person and be like, Okay, you said you were gonna beat me? You said we were gonna kick my ass? What's what's good? Let's do it. Come on. Or they'll be like, Okay, let's set up a box boxing match. If you think you can take me, if you want to talk that mad crap, come at me. Let's set up a boxing match. And one party instantly starts crumbling, making excuses and all that stuff. I've seen it so many times. Mm. I don't know. That's, that's my best aqua sigh. <laughs> Take her or leave it. God damn. Even after all of that, uh, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm, uh. that is one problem. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. Uh, I can't imagine the horror. Mm. I know it's scary. That's one thing that's scary about being a, uh, being creative. Sometimes, like, you'll make something and you're pretty proud of it and feel like, Dang, I did really good with this. I want to share this with the world. Maybe they'll also think that it's really cool. And then somebody says, I think your thing is lame. And sometimes that really gets to you because you thought that, like, Oh, but I thought I did so well. Oh. But keep in mind, usually that's, a, that's just one person. That's just, like, a tiny fraction. For like every for every negative Nancy, there might be like a hundred more people that think like, "Yo, the thing you made is awesome," and the more people that see your thing and think it's awesome, all of a sudden that one person that was being a little bit of a stick in the mud, all of a sudden they're not very loud anymore. They're being drowned out by a bunch of like nice people instead. So if somebody has ever like said something mean to you about anything that you made, ignore them because for every. Every jerk like that, there'll be someone like me that'll say, Hey, the thing that you made is cool as heck. And keep doing it, please. Hmm. I take it with a grain of salt? Yeah, that's a really good way of putting it. Thank you, Aki. You don't gotta thank me for anything. This Common sense. I'm just being, I'm just parroting common sense right now. I'm yapping. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> God. Can you tell that I'm loopy? I don't know. <laughs> Does it show? I feel like we're not even reading much of the game at this point. I'm just yapping. Therapy with a favorite boy, IQ. Okay. Therapy is a bit much. I am not <laughs> licensed to be a therapist in any way, shape, or form. Professional yapper. Not incorrect, you see. I do yap for a living. Whether that be talking or making loud noises into a microphone. Which, honestly, kind of the same thing when you think about it. That's what I do. But that's what your boy does. Hold on, gotta get a stretch in. Okay, so we are officially back. <laughs> Still can't do it. Uh, proper whistle register. <clears throat> maybe, maybe if I try hard enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's very scratchy today. Yeah, very scratchy. <laughs> okay, let's continue. The stretches sound so violent. They're not that violent. Like a stretch is just like. Like that. I can just... Ah, a little stretch. The, the noise just kind of comes naturally. <laughs> it just feels like... Like when you're standing up, how you made like a... Like a like an effort noise. Like... Ah. That, that's what that noise is to me whenever I stretch. この <laughs> so, so 
<laughs> Nara yokata. Okay, let's continue. What's your, the difference between your stretch noise and a yawn? Uh, because the stretch is like a like a high pitched like ah! noise. <laughs> it, it it's hard to do when I'm not stretching. But for a yawn, my yawns are more like a ah! or like ah! like that sort of. Sometimes, other times when I'm really tired, my yawns are like ah! <laughs> they very deep. <laughs> You just have very uh, naturally high noises. I don't know why. I'm a I'm a high pitched boy, and I've just chosen to embrace it. I used to be a lot worse when I was younger. <laughs> and I when I was younger, I was I was a lot more helium sounding. <laughs> I don't even know if I can sound like that anymore. <laughs> Bro is making me yawn. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I will. I will cease. You're our favorite squeaker. <laughs> squeaker. Jesus. I haven't heard that term in a long time. Okay. Moving on. Uh, let's see. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. Oh, that's sweet of them. I can't, I can't do it. <clears throat> there we go. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. It's going to be, I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with the exib exhibitor ba badged. <clears throat> God, my throat. But what about your company's booth? <laughs> Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I could just ask my lead to, to skip this year. But what? What? <laughs> I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Good. Now, what are you gonna show the game on? Um, I have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build? Uh, is the expo build ready? Uh, expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the bill now if you want. Do so. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Switching back and forth between those two voices is so hard. <laughs> like I am I am like freakishly flipping back and forth between two two types of muscle memory. <clears throat> Now, let's see. Oh god, a third person enters. Please be please be Neil. Please be Neil. Oh, it's Rachel. Oh, it's a time oh, god, do I got to be yassified now? Hi, Ike. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Couchella next week. They're still adding new performers? Oh my god, you're gonna... Can you say hi to Miku from me? Yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Uh, backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes, <laughs> and I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What would you like to order? A sweet hot chocolate. A sweet hot chocolate, you say? You got it. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. Or maybe... No, 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 no. Okay. Hot chocolate? Oh, no. It has no warmth if I do that. Okay. Hold on. It's not, not warm at all. Hmm. Hot chocolate is so good, man. It is. Oh, my God. I remember when I was younger and I always used to bike to school. Like, my, my breakfast, it was always two polar bread sandwiches with caviar and a cup of hot chocolate. Specifically, I always use this one... Um, like, you, you know, in my opinion, when it comes to hot chocolate, the best way to do it is to have high-fat milk and then have, like, those cho chocolate powders that you buy at the store and then just mix that into it. Then you can, like, heat that up. Or if you want to heat up the milk beforehand, like, you, you can go many ways around it. But, yeah, that that's peak. The one in Sweden is called Oh Boy, and it's, oh, it's so good. Caviar and chocolate? Yes, goes brilliantly together. Okay, how do I make this warm? Yeah, that brings the bitterness up a lot. Okay, got chocolate, got honey. How do I make it hot? I'm, I'm just going to save and try this. Nesquik is pretty nice too. Yo, yeah, like Nesquik puffs. That's a pretty goaded, like, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Breakfast cereal. Ah, dang it. Uh, hold on. Milk, honey, chocolate. Is, is that what she asked for? A sweet, hot chocolate. Maybe double chocolate and honey? That's just cocoa powder. Powder. Mmm. Milo? Oh yeah, Milo is also a thing. But between like mixing like chocolate powder into milk and Milo, Milo, it, while good, I like Milo, it tastes at least the drink is like a little bit more watery than something like Oboer or in Sweden uh, we have Pukko, which is a chocolate drink, which funnily enough means dumbass. Milk first, maybe? Maybe. No, then I then I can't put, like, uh, cocoa powder. Hmm. Dumbass? Yeah, I'm not joking. We have a chocolate drink in Sweden that is the, named the Swedish word for dumbass. I'm not joking. That is a real thing. Why, though? I don't know. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try this and see if it works. If she hates it, she hates it. Then I'll just reload and try something else. Hopefully, your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. Is it okay? How is it? Hmm, not bad. It's not special. Damn it! Well, okay. How do I make it special then? How doth I make it special? You want to restart the day? Yes. Oh, not, not the day specifically. Can I load the specific like save file? Oh no, it restarts the whole day. Dang it. Honey before milk? You can do that? I don't think you can do that. I think you gotta pick the base first. Like either... Like the top shelf. Okay, we're back to this. Okay, just gotta fast forward through this. Okay, they're here now. Uh, oh, cup of green tea with a lot of mint. Right. Double mint. We know this. It's a shame that when you save that it doesn't exactly, like, save, like, exactly where you left off. 
That's unfortunate. Unless you can do that, and I'm just not understanding how to do it. Okay, Tatarik, how did I do that again? Double T and milk, I believe it was. Because, like, like tilk with two T's. Yeah, there we go. Serve it. We know this. Professional barista at your service. Okay, let's try this again. How do I make a hot chocolate special? How do I make it special? If I start with milk, I can't pick the chocolate. I think I need the honey because they, we need that sweetness. Uh, no! Wait! Oh! Maybe? A sweet hot chocolate. This might work. A double cinnamon, maybe? This might work. Cinnamon chocolate, maybe? Draw something? I can't! There's no latte art. How is cinnamon sweet? I don't know. Apparently it is. Uh, let's try it. It has warmth, it has sweetness, so... Maybe? Is this special enough? How is it? Hmm... No! Dang it! Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, is it this one, maybe? Oh, yep, we're back here. Yep, I got it. Fast forward. We out here struggling, I know. <laughs> the cinnamon is warm and sweet. I don't- I, I know! I don't know what to- mm, I don't know what they want. I think I'm just gonna, like, try some- I, I'm gonna try the milk one again and then, like, maybe draw some latte art and maybe that's the key. Have you tried with honey? I did, but they said like, oh, it wasn't special enough. So I'm thinking that maybe latte art makes the drink like more like special or something. Chocolate itself is bitter? I mean, yeah, if it's high in cacao, I guess. I think that's how you say it. Order might be wrong. Maybe. I don't know. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> and the visual novel nerd in me is just like, no, I must save and reload until I get the correct choice. <sighs> okay. A sweet hot chocolate. Okay, so... Last time we did this. So let's try this. It has a little bit of warmth to it. What if I do this? It's a little bit warmer, but it's not very sweet. Okay, I'm gonna do this and see if... Let's me do art. Art? Okay, yeah, we can do art. Okay, and I was asked to do a heart, but I am very bad at this. The controls for this is very hard, and I am very bad at it, so... This is not gonna be a pretty heart. Yeah, see, already, I'm just like, oof. Oh god, this is oof. I do not know the science behind how to do this. Nah, fam. Nah. <laughs> Maybe I'll start with, like, a circle. If I can even do that? What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, 
A circle is too much to ask from me, apparently. Oh boy. Oh, yikes. Invert? What is invert? What does that mean? Oh, God. This is going terrible. Uh, we, we go again. It looks like a face. <laughs> That's not the point. Uh, I'm bad at latte art. Oh, now it just sticks around the tip. Why do you float up now? Why are you floating up all of a sudden? You were floating downwards a second ago. Oh, you, I didn't even know you could turn this. Invert, prob probably? Oh. Oh! Okay, so that's what that is. Okay. I get it now. Uh. Okay, then maybe we can try... Okay, maybe. Maybe it's a little bit stylized. It's a little bit stylized, but it's something. You know what? That's not that bad. For me, someone who is not an artiste, that's not that bad. That's pretty alright. That is pretty okay. There we go. Okay, you know what? Serve it. If this is not special enough for you, I swear to God. Yeah? How is it? Hmm. Not bad. Ah! Well, it's... You know what? I'm happy with it. I'm keeping it. But it's enough. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break the immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, uh, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Got it. <laughs> I swear to God, four out of four point nine stars. Unfortunately, my drink wasn't sweet enough. I think it's because the uh, barista forgot to add his own sweetness to it. What do you mean? My own sweetness was the heart. <laughs> That was the sweetness! 
That was the sauce! I added the sauce! But it was not good enough. Mm. Oh god, Dad? Ooh, Ooh yikes, okay. What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. This is awkward. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Ike. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Ooh. Not you guys grabbing popcorn. <laughs> well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take the Spanish Sahara. Okay. Hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Brew. Yappa da da ba doop da. Heck yeah. Oh, that's the one. Your drink is ready, sir. My my. This is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Dad? Yes. Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know, Morris. He's not a good person. The bacon coffee... Shut... I'm gonna have to ask you to shut... Thank you. industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. This Firstly, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air that I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Jesus. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? You were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Jesus. Rachel. I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder! Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to meet your, to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there's things that I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career right now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. 
It's only a few days away. It's a big chance to boost my presence as, so as a solo artist. When are you going back home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Oh, wait, Rachel! Hmm. You know when it turns into a split screen, it's gonna be a heated argument. Excuse me for a moment, Ike. Mm, take your time, dude. Ma'am, this is a cafe. Oh, God. I am sorry about what just happened. <clears throat> you don't have to apologize. Yeah, we are busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? <laughs> of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? No! I was listening. I made notes. <laughs> See? You didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we don't realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, do you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Ike, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks as usual. Please take care on your way home. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. Sometimes I get a good line read, other times not so much, but sometimes they're pretty alright. I guess that's all for t Oh god, who, who, who is coming? Oh, welcome back. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she is alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? I thought your arguments with Miss Rachel... Something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know? They were huge in the 90s. We were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. Oh, I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. Teenage girls especially. They were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. I have heard stories. Oh boy, have I ever heard stories. Like, I believe that there was some artist from somewhere where they got a letter that a young lady had written in something that was in ink. That's pretty out there, if you ask me. I hate that everybody knows what it is. Oh, yeah, I heard of that one. Moving on. <laughs> like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families. 
And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. Jesus freaking Christ. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. Oh, your cat. Oh, oh yeah, of course, your daughter, I forgot. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time. We all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. Or stronger than most people think. See you later, Ike. And uh, sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye. Yikes. That's a lot. I can understand what, why he wouldn't want his daughter working there. I know there's many celebrities that have their kids, like, e even if they themselves as celebrities are still active within, like, the showbiz, whether that be, like, I don't know, Hollywood or whatever, they will, like, make a commitment to be like, yeah, if I ever have kids, they are never getting into showbiz. Ever. So, it's very much not a common mindset from what I understand. Some uh, idols, they uh, literally debuted at like 12 or 14 years old. Yeah, like there's like some uh, idol ag agencies that are like, or that start them out really young. Uh, like uh, Yui, Moa, and uh, Su, Suzuka uh, that uh, made up the original lineup of Baby Metal. I believe they got started when they were like, when Yui and Moa were... 12 and Suzuka was 14 or maybe even younger because they started in Sakura Gakuen I believe is it Sakura Gakuen? Sakura Gakuen? Unle unless I'm mistaken I'm not the most educated when it comes to idol stuff so yeah they're uh, having uh, like people uh, debut as idols at a young age is like it's a lot more common than people think, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm like, I'm liking these, <laughs> these new paper photos. <laughs> All right, let's see. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Couchella. There it is. Hmm? Gil Nyman and Maruki, uh, Maruki Harukami to collaborate for new IP. Coachella organizers remind parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. So what's this about then? Alright, I guess I'll just start the day. Let's see. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, let's go. It's Neil. I'm so happy. Neil! It's Neil! Before we get to talk with best character Neil. Mm. Yeah, boy needs to use the restroom, so I will be right back. Please excuse me.
nice to see that things are as they always are over here. <laughs> oh my, oh me. I just move a few things around here. Like so, get myself all lined up properly. There we go. Here we go, here's your boy. Okay, tadaima, I am back. I'm ready to hang out with Neil. I'm so ready for this. All right, here we go. Oh, Neil, you've come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, there's definitely something you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Oh, uh, I, I wasn't expecting that. Excuse me, what? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Uh, why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. Not incorrect, you see. It blows our minds to learn that you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. I guess? I never really thought about it that way. It does seem like he wants to have like a side side gig here, a part-time job. Okay. I guess the miss mission of Seed will have to take a backseat. <laughs> yes, but I can see that your communication st skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breathing partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not too sure about this. Neil, uh, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job, if you get it at all. Oh. Let me think this over, if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. But it has to be today. May I know why? The hands, I know! I know that I love the hands. Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Oh, 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 okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. But with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people can come here just to chill. They might come in for just a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest that you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry, I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do in here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though. To help keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation. But it'll make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It is. Alright then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Let's start the night. 
Yay! We got an employee. Oh god, the feds. It's okay, there's no feds here. Welcome. <laughs> What's up, Freya? You won't believe who's working here now. Hmm. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, I... What's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. <laughs> it's not that. Neil is just helping out. I've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived, and we came to a conclusion. Before starting another breeding mission, <laughs> we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. A breeding mission? Oh god. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sentence. All right, moving on. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition, I make the drinks. You will only be here to serve and uh, <clears throat> communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, is there anything you want from us? Please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya, if I still need to write for the paper again... What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yep. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher-up? In the elevator? Yes. Same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And the higher-up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into her office. And things went downhill from there. She realized immediately. It was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that? Hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. But we do feel the immense sadness and frustrations you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You're allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. It was a nice thing to do, Neil. Neil is learning. I'm proud of the boy. Or they, I should say. Sorry. It was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? <laughs> Your favorite. Our favorite. Anything. I trust you with the decision. Okay. Uh. Pff. I, 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 I know what you like. I know what she likes. So, do I go with the this the same old, or? Do I give her a nightmare concoction that Neil would like? I'm feeling like the huge, the huge is probably a safe bet here, right? Nightmare concoction? You guys want nightmare concoction? What? I th I thought we liked Freya. 
Did it do we? I thought we liked her. Save first. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Not that it matters really. All right, nightmare concoction. What the hell did we give to? Was it in, like coffee and ginger or something like that? Like an obscene amount of ginger? Isn't that what we did? Mint and coffee? Isn't that a thing? Coffee and mint? Ooh. Ooh, okay. That, that That's actually... Place the coffee with milk? What? Oh, okay. What about this? What about... What about milk? What about mint milk? Let's go. Let's go mint milk. Okay. Trust you with the decision. Okay. <laughs> it's actually called mint milk. All right. Yeah, sure. Enjoy the mint milk. Let's see how she reacts. Here is your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. N now, now don't put this on me, Neil. Well, who else is gonna brew it? <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. But today, I might have an idea why. What, because I'm bad at cold drinks? What? What was that roast? What? That was so unnecessarily mean! That was such shade! What? What? I didn't deserve that! I feel that- personally, I feel like that was a little bit uncalled for. You served her mint milk, Ike. She said anything! If you weren't okay with anything, don't ask for anything! Because I will take that very literally. Mint milk, come on. Hey, you guys were the ones that said nightmare concoction. I wanted to do a espresso. That's what you always get. You guys said nightmare concoction and I got roasted for it. This is not on me. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-uh. This is you guys' fault. <laughs> Is it mint milk just ice cream? <laughs> I don't I don't think that's how it works. All right, moving on. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, that sounds doable, even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. No mint slander in chat. <laughs> okay, I don't. E I haven't had enough mint to be able to slander it. There's some mint that I like, and some mint that I like less. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races, and we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. Agreed. Ugh. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil? Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh... We are glad to hear that, then. <laughs> I love Neil so much. <laughs> He's, they're so good. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, uh, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It is hard for us to understand our language, Neil. Don't worry about it. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to commute to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. 
But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm... I don't think I have the exact number, but full-time, I should be able to write between three and 5,000 words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. And editing is so darn important, holy crap. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. Yeah. If you've ever been a writer, it's so easy to get lost in the prose. Oh my god. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to read that much. That's a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. Mm, I think it should between be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for Earthlings. Yeah, we can't even agree on what is art and what isn't. Yep. Earthlings seems to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts. Write again. But you're not that wrong about writing, you know? Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. And that is so true. Whenever I'm reading anything on in certain parts of the internet, one of the first things I look at is word count. Because usually when you find a word, when something is just one chapter and it has like 700 words, usually that's not going to be enough for me to sink my teeth into. I need a little bit more than that. Even if it's just like a fluffy one shot, I still want to see like to get up into like like the four like the four digits like the, the around the middle four digits that's when i can usually count on something being co uh, cohesive enough have enough meat to the story even if it's like just a short one i can also count on the uh, person being a little bit more comfortable with being a writer for a lot of like really short one shots like that are in the three like in three digits that's usually a lot of people's first for uh, foray into writing so uh, obviously like sometimes it's nice to check out and see somebody's growth and see how they're doing maybe give a few po pointers if uh, they are receptive to that kind of st stuff and just be like i really like this stuff you could work a little bit more on this and just uh, be a little bit constructive about it 7k is pretty pog already to me. Yeah, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty good length for a one shot. Sometimes I need something below 1.5k. Sometimes I need 150k. It just depends on the mood for the day. That is so freaking true. That is so true. My god. Sometimes I just need like a like set the scene quickly. Just tell me a short little scenario and wrap things up. It's like short sweet it's like a little it's like a cup of coffee when you think about it it's something short and sweet to be enjoyed and other times you want to crack into like something that's going to give stephen king a run for his money <laughs> when it comes to word count thousand to ten thousand is usually my range yeah i tend to uh, like because i don't have as much time these days i tend to read one shots more often than not but like back in the day when i used to read a lot more than i 150,000 uh, fix were not the most common thing that I read, but they were def definitely there. I remember there was this one that was like, was so elaborate about this wor world building. They sort of like didn't because of. I don't think I don't think it's like surprising, but of course your boy read a bunch of Vocaloid fix, and there was this one that was like an AU, like sort of like yeah, Victorian era sort of fantasy, like like. Castle, princes, princesses, swords, horses, royalty, all that jazz. Like an AU with that. And it was so gosh darn elaborate. 
Holy crap, they worked so much stuff into that. That, that thing ran for an ungodly amount of chapters. Ser Servant of Evil? No, it was not related to that. It was an original story. Drop the link, Ike. You seriously think I remember it? That was okay. Let me put let me put into perspective how long ago this was. You know how I read that thick on my PSP. Ya boy used to read on his PSP because it had a web browser. That was before I had a phone that could properly browse the internet. So if I wanted to read something online while laying in bed, PSP was it. Which website? I will take that to my grave. That's so real though. Nintendo DS, anyone? I didn't- I never used the DS web browser. I didn't even know that it had one, I'm gonna be honest. I did use the Nintendo Wii's web browser because I wanted to see if I could watch YouTube on it, and I could. I could. It wasn't great. Like, the quality was very limiting, but it worked. I just wanted something to do with my Wii. Wattpad? I have never been on Wattpad. I can immediately, like, knock that out. I do know that there was an obscene amount of One Direction content on Wattpad, though. Okay, let's, let's continue. But it's still up there. So it's... Oh, whoa, that's a reverb. So it's still a valid parameter. Sorry about the reverb. Definitely. Cool. Hey, he's starting to say things like, like, cool. <laughs> that didn't sound like you at all, Neil. See, that's what I thought. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Let's see what we got. You mean audio blur? Yeah, my bad. Sorry, audio, audio blur. Oh, another, another guest. guest. Hey, it's Myrtle. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. And she's like, what the hell is he doing here? I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who is making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Coffee with a little bit of ginger. Uh, okay. Just coffee with a little bit of ginger. I feel like that should be... Should be pretty good. No, I don't think that's it. Uh, coffee, milk, ginger. Let's try that instead. Hmm... Okay, what about now? Milk, ginger, coffee? No, I don't think that's it either. Ugh. Maybe it is this. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just. Hmm. Maybe I'm just overthinking. No, that's the thing again. Dang. What about this? Does this change it? Oh! Why does it gotta be so picky about it? Oh well, servant. Your order is ready. Hmm. Did you record my order properly? Uh, we relayed the order properly. We swear to do- we did not mess up the order. I'm sorry, Miss Myrtle. It was my mistake. Wait, wait, what? It's not right? Huh? But what is the right one then? It said ginger coffee! A little bit of ginger. I put one ginger! That is the least amount of ginger that I can put without putting anything at all! 
You put two ginger? I did? I thought I did coffee ginger coffee. The unique one was right? Dude. I hate everything. I'm so... I'm so I am such a bad barista. Jumbangana? Yeah, it's all about the order. Dang. Sorry, Myrtle. My B. What brings you to here? Let me try that again. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visit here. Actually, I'm not here just to sit without being disturbed. Huh? Uh, pardon us. I was just training Neil how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get li- <laughs> Okay. Oh, this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using for such formal language. Stop talking. Start talking the way we talk. Stop using Keiko. <laughs> start listening the way we listen. Which, essentially, is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve. But we will try. Step by step. One small step for you. Might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle. Now that we know that you are not here for your usual activities. Are you here for someone, then? Yeah. Oh? Is that Aqua? Uh-huh. Oh, it's the occasion. No special occasion. It's just, um... Oh, I hear the sloshing. Yep. 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 Mm-mm. <clears throat> I hope that they go in, with this in the direction that I'm uh, hoping. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can still do this. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... Uh, what is... What is this? What's happening here? <laughs> okay, I'm just turning into Elmo. I already told... Call the cop when you go right here. What? Where's Ike? <laughs> Miss Aqua, please <laughs> relax. Not Elmo. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I try to do the girl voice, it's just gonna turn into Elmo. I don't really know how good my Elmo is. I haven't really Elmo speak in a while. Usually, I think that Elmo is just kind of high pitched, mixed with yelling. But sometimes it's a little bit more than that. <laughs> Elmo the VTuber. <laughs> Elmo stream when? <laughs> uh, oh, Muppets and Sesame Street are different. I was about to say, like, that I can do two of the Muppets voices, which is Elmo and Kermit. But Kermit is the Muppets and Sesame Street is, is its own thing, I believe. Has the Muppets and Sesame Street ever crossed over? I feel like they must have, surely. They're close enough. Temi san ni Oh yeah, like Temi from uh from when I did Undertale. The the Oi, I'm Temi. Welcome to the Temp Shop. <laughs> that was my Temi voice. They have they had a Christmas special together. Ooh, that's cool. Kerm Kermit and Almo meeting. My two, my two Oshis. Not really, but <laughs> it's fun to think about. Kermit is kind of easy, just to like speak like way at the back of your throat and it just sounds like Kermit. It's like one of the easier things to make. 
Like, doing an Elmo voice is, a, like, a little bit hard, hard, uh, hard if you don't, like, if you can't get up in that high, uh, high of your range. But, um, Kermit is pretty easy. You just basically put your voice way, way at the back of your throat. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. <laughs> yes, everything is fine. Your Temmie voice is the reason you're my Oshi. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, okay. Uh, please, let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. <laughs> take a breath and I give her water. It's a surprisingly comfortable place for your voice to sit in. Yeah, a lot of like really wacky voices that uh, you gotta do sometimes, like really wear on your voice. But the Kermit one is surprisingly easy to do. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. Oh god. I have so many voices I'm doing right now. It is alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you- <clears throat> What are you doing here anyway? Oh god, it's, it's failing me. We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You... <clears throat> God. <clears throat> you uh, don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal? He's getting somewhere. Limoncito, thank you very much for the five gifted. That's so kind of you. I can't never imagine that, like, uh, Neil would be the one to be like, All right, so here's the sitch. <laughs> That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do, Hike. It's um, nothing, really. But you do... Do you think that one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. <laughs> As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves just to this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella, <laughs> let's go. What? <laughs> what are you gonna do at Coachella? According to our research, a virtual pop star under the name Hatsune Miku will be performing. And I simply had to attend. I mean, we simply had to attend. There are many breedings happening during Coachella, of course, that's the reason. That's why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We noticed that. But we also noticed we need to know a lot more about Earthlings. Not the breeding mission again. I'll save you, Miku. <laughs> it's okay. The, the breedings usually only happen between the attendees, not the performers. I think. I don't know anything about Coachella. Actually, the first time I heard about Coachella was in a very unfortunate uh, trend on social media. That's the first time I ever knew about what Coachella or what it was. And uh, oh god, that was that was a day on Twitter. Including the breeding matters. That is what we will study in Coachella. After that. We will be ready to breed with so many female Earthlings. I shouldn't say this, uh, but hell. That sounds like the blessed, best plan you've had since you got there. Here. We know. We are also surprised ourselves. Okay, I mean, that's good, I guess. Good on, good on Neil. Sticking true to their, their idea, ideals and... Knowing what they want and going for it, uh, I mean, I gotta respect that to some degree, I guess. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. 
first, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So, our discussion with Miss Murdo will stop abruptly. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, what are you two doing together? Um, it's, it's nothing. We're, we're just friends, you know? We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yeah, I, I'm not buying it. I'm seeing the fidgeting. Yes, yes, that's it. Now, I don't have that much experience in game development, you see? I thought your research was in computer graphics. Oh, your phone is going off. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. So, I've been asking Murdo for feedback from time to time. Today, I wanted to thank her directly. But she arrived first. So, I couldn't buy her a drink. <laughs> never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But... <laughs> Wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your. Oh, so you are, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I am sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyways? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. Ha 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 ha. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game. There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix. But players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was the pacing, control, and UI and UX. <sighs> it must be fun to have finished working on your creation. Oh god, one second. Oh my oh me, Jesus. <clears throat> <clears throat> it surely removed some of the weight off my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. <laughs> you mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, well I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please, be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And I read some of the stuff that you wrote. They're really good, you know? <laughs> some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. <laughs> I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. <laughs> you're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know? Oh god, my voice is dying so much. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I... <clears throat> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I know, I said thanks already, right? <sighs> But you put so much effing emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. <sighs> Aqua, I'm sorry if it sounded that way, but yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. <laughs> That's your problem. Burnout? I've been working on something for two years straight, but no one outside the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes, I don't really work on them, not directly. So, what do you work on? A secret project? I'll tell you under Friend EA. <laughs> Friend EA! Okay! So, I guess Niji EN is not the only, uh, the only people that use this term. 
literally whenever we're working on stuff whether that be like a cover or like an illustration or any sort of project and we're sharing with each other before making it public we just go ayo friendy a friendy a didn't know that it was a widely used term learn something new every day <laughs> All right. I'm not with the paper anymore anyways. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype with, for a new IP. Or, worst case scenario, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team's been making pitches. Dozen of them. Hundreds. Thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. Seven samurai. That's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works up to support others. And they're going through a crunch cycle. We need to hit almost an impossible target. And we jump in. No wonder you folks are considered the Seven Samurai. I guess. Yeah. Oh god. I'm, I hate myself for giving Aqua this voice. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, Myrtle. I just realized. What? Usually, developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Uh, before I joined this company, I guess? That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. <sighs> oh, cute. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. I bet I can't just take one. But you can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. Oh god, I'm losing my voice. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You'll take tomorrow, the day after, and another day off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend slash vacation. But what about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey. Okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. Uh, really? <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now and prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Up to my apartment? Uh, no, we'll walk together to the bus stop just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone, uh, see you next week, okay? <laughs> Have fun. Take care out there. Me find join during your vacation. Oh, okay. She's leaving. What was that disappointment? Listen. We all know what's going on here. <laughs> okay, see you folks later. Arista, more Yuri, please. <laughs> it's been a tough week past the Yuri. <laughs> Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know, but not now. I gotta finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you gonna close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. <laughs> you sure? Do you want another drink? To be going on with? Still on the house. 
I definitely won't say no. I think, uh, okay, that's like four hours. So I think that's a good place to pump our brakes and drop a save. Four hours of coffee talk, that's pretty good. YouTube is yelling at me to insert an ad, but I shall not do so. I will only do it when I can make it into something funny. All right, let's drop a save here. The evidence whispers. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I can't read. The evening whispers, whispers, is with the people for stricter gun laws. New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner. Action video game Rising Hell blamed in Jesus Christ violence in school. Holy crap! The newspapers are always like a little bit too real. Is that just me? Okay, let's drop a save here. Save the game. Baba Booey. All right. To the main menu we go. That's pretty good. I enjoyed that. All right, let's hop back to somewhere a little bit more familiar. But I, if I remember correctly, I haven't set up certain things. So I would have to do this first. If I'm not mistaken. And then we can transition. Here we go. There we go, that's a little bit better. Hiya! How's it going? Let me just close coffee talk real quick. Like so. Okay, there we are. Hiya! That was fun. That was fun going back to that. I, for I forget how many like silly, silly things that they make you talk about. MPL, thank you very much for the 20 gifted. That's so kind of you. And Dandelion, thank you for the 5 gifted as well. That's very nice of you. Today was so interesting. Yeah! I had a lot of fun. Sorry it took a while for my voice to get, like, warmed up. I did not have a high range for, like, the first, like, hour or so. But now I do. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> a little bit. Can I stretch? I wonder. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's taking a little bit of a hit, but that usually happens when I speak in a girl voice for a while. I lose a little bit of my high range. As long as I can scream today, that's all I need. Because I need to record some screaming. Hmm. Mm. Oh, we back? We back. We back. <clears throat> scream? Yeah, scream. Screams. The good old... Whoa! <laughs> I haven't done it in so long because I've been sick, so I don't even remember if I know how to do it. <clears throat> Hold on, let me, let me see. Is it working today? Okay, it, wor it works. It works. That's good to know. Mm. We're born to bleh. <laughs> I actually haven't gone bleh in a song yet. I really want to do that. I went bleh in Kronos, but I, I haven't done a proper like bleh. I want to do that. I want to do that in a song so, so bad. I know that in Tyrant, uh, Kagami Senpai, uh, for. There's one point where he says the B word, and uh, but it, instead of saying it usually, he said it like "bruh." Didn't you do one a tyrant? Yeah, like I just said. No, that's Kagami Sacho. Kagami, uh, Kagami Sacho was the one that did the. Uh, it's not a bleh, but it's uh, like saying the B word, Uki's <laughs> favorite word. But he says it like "bruh." A good "bruh." It's still nice. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. But I do want to do want to do a proper. I've actually been getting into Jaluka as of late. And uh, uh, Riko, uh, Riko san is very, very much uh, like an incredible vocalist. And I know that they like their bles very, very much. That you can find them all over Jaluka songs. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, the other day I got a notification on Twitter. Let's see if I still have it. It was really, really cool. Let me see. Is it still here? I wonder. I have the... Th yeah, there it is. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Give me, give me one second. Let me get this right here. Uh, open this. Like so. Okay. Okay. 
So, I w the other day I got a notification on Twitter, and needless to say, I fanboyed a little bit because... <laughs> I'm wearing this as a badge of honor. <laughs> Wee! Amazing vocalist. I was I, I, I was uh, I was geeking out so much. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Deco sound followed me. Holy crap! No way. That's amazing. I know. I got so happy. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry that I'm like bragging about that, but it made me like, ee! It made me so happy. There's a few like few times where that's happened when I've gotten a like a follow notification. I'm like, oh my god, are you, this person? Are you okay? Are you lost? Are you sure you want to be following me? You're allowed to brag. Well, thank you. Thank you that you're not thinking that I'm having a big head or something. But I just got really happy that that Nico sound followed me. Maybe this means that I need to cover a Jaluka song. It's, the only problem is, like, covering a Jaluka song, unless you have the official instrumental, it's so hard to recreate. Because they have so many things going on in their songs. Number one, Jesus Christ, the guitar work in Jaluka songs is absolutely insane. Like, there's so, like, especially, like, there, there's a lot of really fast chromatic sweeps, which I cannot do for the life of me. A blair opportunity arises. Yeah, like if if I if I did a Jaluka song, then I would absolutely be able to do a blair. But I I would have to get someone else to do the instrumental because Senna's guitar I cannot do their guitars whatsoever. Any Jaluka songs you you would like to cover? Ooh, I I've been really vibing with Venom as of late. I know that's like one of their big ones. So, uh, Venom is uh, absolutely one of them. That one is up there. Uh, there's that other one that they uh, that they go really hard with. Uh, I think it's called Overkill. Overkill is also, like, really, really good. Venom is so good. Yeah, Venom goes so hard. Put it on? I can't. I can't because of copyright. But if you want to hear it, look up. Uh, it's in my... Um, if you look at my, one of my playlists, I have a playlist called Ike's Metal Jams, where I put... Music that I'm li currently listening to in case anybody wants new recommendations. So, yeah, have a look there. And I, I think I put Jaluka in there. I think uh, Venom should be there. We need the Venom cover. I would like to, but it would be so hard because not only is the guitar part so hard, replicating dubstep is a challenge. Getting somebody that is good at bo producing both metal and dubstep is not easy. It's very tricky to actually get that working correctly. I was going to say, why is my BGM not looping? But then it finally did. I have so many metal songs in my playlist because of you now. <laughs> Good. Let's keep it that way. I want to keep it. I want to let the metalization of Niji Sanji to continue. Why not one of each kind of producer? Uh, you can, but it's very difficult because collaborating even in the same genre can be tricky sometimes. So it's not the easiest thing to do. Ginja, thank you very much for the 20 gifted. That's so kind of you. I know, like, if I were to do a cover of Venom, I know who I would ask to do the instrumental, but I don't know if they would be able to do it. I I don't even know if I would be able to like cover cover the song. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll ask Perms. At least recording Venom wouldn't be too tricky because the majority of it is screaming. <laughs> it's very difficult screaming, mind you. But hey, if I don't gotta worry about hitting notes, then that that that's an easy day for me. Okay, let's read some super chats, shall we? Uh, going to the beginning of the stream where is my lame looking text there we go there it is oh oopsie daisy sorry i had to mute a burp again i've been waiting to do a metal screen but it's not possible uh, to do in a house with people 
Uh, yeah, that, that's a little bit uh, tricky. You gotta go to a place where you can not necessarily be loud. Like, screams are loud, but they're not, like, full-on shouting, like, loud, loud. It's more uh, like a scream should be on the same level as, like, if you're, like, yelling at someone across the room, like, Hey! Yo! Kind of like that. That's about as loud as a scream should be. Like, it sh not, shouldn't be, like, a full-on, like, shriek. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> yeah, that works, too. If you're British. Oi! Oi, bruv! <laughs> mm. <laughs> boy. Yeah, boy. That works, too. Boy! Let's see, uh, yeah, Kanata, thank you very much. Okay, James, let's see what the man cooked. Let's see, greetings, Lord Ike of Venerable House Eveland, member of Luxium Alliance. It is an honor to have you for coffee break. May the bitterness wash away your sorrow and your stress relieved by the aroma. <laughs> James, James is at it again. <laughs> thank you for that. Haruka. Thank you. Harumi, thank you very much. Are you ready to see Best Girl Aqua? We did see Best Girl Aqua indeed. But my favorite character is still Neil. <laughs> One, two, five, pom pom san, thank you very much. Uh, Ayumi san, thank you very much for the Akaspa. That's so kind of you. And let's see, Axla, thank you very much. Hi, Ike. It was my birthday a few days ago and was wondering if I can get a little birthday greeting from you. Thank you so much. Uh, love Ike. Thank you. Thank you very much. And happy belated birthday. Hope you had a wonderful time. Uh, Yus, thank you very much. I noticed my heart rate is speeding up. It must be because I had a cup of... E. Sometimes happens. When you have a cup of E, get a little bit too much caffeine. And uh, it gets you... Get your heart rate pumping. Ichi, thank you very much. kinyako san thank you very much. Linny, thank you very much. So happy today. I get to hear so many different voiced by Aiki. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Kawane, thank you very much. Feel free to read read after the game. Okay. Uh, I love this game's diverse cast and the voices that you give them. But if you can assign Niji EN members to VA any of the characters, who will be who? Well, Aqua would be Finana. Like, that. that's just, like, not up for debate. Uh, let's see. Who would be... Who would be Freya? I think Alira would be a good Freya. For, let's see, for Hyde. Let's see, Hyde. Would be a good pick for Hyde. Bailey's Ren. Yeah, Bailey's Ren. No two ways about it. Bailey's Ren. Uh. Fuchan for Neil. Oh, you're right. Fuchan would be perfect as Neil. Yes. Yes. Neil, Fuchan. Got it. Mm. <sighs> Zali is height. Mm, nah, I, I think Fuchan works. Works really well. Uh, Zali could be... I don't know. Vanta as Gala. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Vanta as Gala. Gala is really good as Gala. Dopio. I don't know who would Dopio be. Hmm. Should, should we make Sunny the police officer? <laughs> because like they share the they share professions. The feds? Who would be the feds, though? They gotta be bald. Who is infamous for, in Niji EN for being bald? <laughs> Georgie Briscoe. Chu? Ver? Vox? There's a, there's a lot of... Hex? Bald? Uki? No. Okay, I guess... I guess... Uh, <laughs> okay. It's gotta be somebody starting with V, because a lot of people are saying either Vox or Ver. I'm feeling Ver. <laughs> Ver I, I don't know. Thinking about bald Ver is just making me <laughs> it's just making me giggle to myself in just the right way. 
So I, f I, I feel like the feds should be there. Uh, who else am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting someone. Aya and her Valley Girl voice is Rachel. Yes! That works. That works. That's perfect. Myrtle. Oh, Myrtle. Scarlet! Scarlet. Scarlet's Myrtle. A any objections to that? Any objections to that? I, I think that's a pretty good one. Mmm. Kunai? Oh, Kunai could also work. Mmm. But, but I'm feeling Scarlet. I'm really feeling Scarlet. Who's Henry? Ugh. Okay. Who's Henry? Who shall be Aya's father? <laughs> Is it bad that I want to say Kyo? <laughs> Come on, I think it could work. I think it could work. <laughs> I was thinking that. Okay, so it's not just me then. <laughs> why Kyo? Why not Kyo? Give me a reason why not Kyo. He's too little brother coded. Okay, Kyo does not give me little brother energy at all. Little brother has has like this spark gleam in their eyes, something like what like a wondrous view of the world. Kyo just seems like, now nah, you know what I've seen the world, and the world ain't all that, so I'm gonna give it some attitude in the best way possible, mind you. And honestly, more power to him for that. The the world as it is right now deserves to have some attitude, <laughs> fling towards it. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine like? <laughs> Kyo, like, like, to, talking to, like, his daughter in-game and just going, Ayo, pause. Pause. Lady, you're gonna have to pause real quick. I cannot do Kyo's voice, so I'm not even gonna try. I don't even- I can't even, like, his, his, like, vocal mannerisms, I can't even replicate, because I'm terrible at that stuff. I really think that the person who is be best at imitating another libel, libel, liver, you really can't do better than Ren. Ren's dopio is unmatched. I remember the first time he did it in a collab when it was me, Selene, Kyo, and Ren, when we were playing uh, uh, Uno in Fortnite, when he just did his first, bah, dopio. <laughs> like, it was so perfect. And then I heard him read dopio's line for, like, the Mario Kart announcement, and it was just... Every, like, apparently, some people didn't know that he could do that. He's so good at it. Ren's Dopio impression is the best impression of another liver, liver in Niji Ian, if you ask me. You cannot top that. It's too freaking good. Ren is Dopio. Dopio is Ren. <laughs> Sonic King make a good Ike voice? Can he? I don't think I've heard it. I know that in his second outfit thing, some people thought it was me on the intercom, which it was not, but <laughs> apparently some people did. Let's see, moving on, where was I? Let's see, Zillowcat, thank you very much. Uh, Adonart, thank you very much. Dandelion, thank you very much. Kavane, thank you very much. Rhea, thank you very much. Priscat, thank you very much. I just had a wonderful cup of matcha and finished an essay as the stream progressed. Thank you for the stream, dear Ike. No problem, Otsu on the essay. Let's see, Confetti Color Star, thank you very much. Otsuiki, I couldn't set a super last stream, but while many got their diamond nib, I just got the purple nib. Finally, Orpal. Yippee! Yay! Congrats on the purple. Eto, Aoi san, arigatou gozaimasu. Haishin, arigatou. Coffee Torku, daiski, janakte, ski da kara, tanushikatta desu. Sore nara yakatta, urishi. Arigatou. Ito Eric Kun, thank you very much. My first super, ooh, goes to my favorite novelist. Loved your stream today. Take good care of yourself after the stream. Love you very much, Aiki. Thank you. Ito Rova, thank you very much. Thanks for the good VA, Aiki. Tasukaru, Otsu, and rest well. Will do. Lenny, thank you very much. Otsukaru sama deshita, thank you. Blue Snow, thank you very much. Uh, how do I see this? Limoncito, thank you very much. Hope I'm, hope I'm reading that. Otsuiki, I had a really good time and made myself a really good coffee. Love to hear that. It's already been a whole year since I followed you, and I'm very happy. Thanks for making me happy. Love you. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, Yinja, thank you very much. Hi, Aiki. I received a job offer this semester and got my first salary. Woo! Let's go. Really wanted to share this happiness with you and Quildren. Not a thick super because I have a very limited salary. 
Uh, but thank you for always inspiring me. Thank you very much. And spend most of that salary on yourself. Like, in, if in, in fact, spend all of it on yourself. You've earned it. But thank you very much. I appreciate the generosity nonetheless. Blue Snow, thank you very much. Proud to say that you're the first I paid for online. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. That is incredibly kind of you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoy those emotes. I believe that is in reference uh, because I see that you have a silver nib. So that means that you're fairly new. So enjoy those emotes. Let's see, Kai, thank you very much. Thank you for the stream today, Aiki. Love the VA skills today. Thank you. I tried my best. I think I got some pretty good IV lines in there. Some were stinkers. Some sounded a little bit better. Snee, thank you very much. The way you sway while reading the super chat is so cute. I don't know, like I just I just do this whenever I thank something. And then like, I don't know, I'm a very mobile guy. Like you don't see me move my hands around. But there's a lot of time where I'm just like waving around and sometimes you'll even hear me do this. Like you will hear a little like thud like that. That's me waving around and hitting my microphone when I get a little bit too into whatever the, the heck it is that I'm speaking about. Melinolin, thank you very much for the five gifted. That's so kind of you. Tiny little bow, yeah, tiny little bow. The peco peco, as, as we've come to, as we have come to call it. The boy goes whoosh whoosh. Yes, that is what I do. Mm. That was all the super chats, so we can just kind of chill right now. I'm kind of hungry. I should get something for dinner. I don't know what to get though. What am I feeling? Arisara, thank you very much for the super chat. I miss you. I'm here though. Hi. Oh, more Super Chats are coming in. Gives me some to the read. Rowan, thank you very much. I've been here for at least a year, mostly lurking. But you are what wakes me up in the morning, and you bring happiness to my life. Love you, Aiki. Thank you. Thank you so much. That makes me so happy. You said pizza, no? Oh, yeah, I have leftover pizza. Never mind. I don't need to order anything. I can just have leftover pizza. Didn't you say pizza earlier? Yes, but I have a goldfish memory sometimes. Yeah, pizza. Pizza is the... The plan, I believe. I just gotta get a get a big plate so I can fit a lot of slices on it and fit that in my tiny freaking microwave. What kind of pizza? You know what it is. Your boy loves his margarita with bacon on it. And that's my go-to. Lizzie, Maggie, thank you very much. I I had five cups of honey lemon tea while watching. Unfortunately, throat hurts a bit. Thanks for the comfy stream plus VA. Thank you very much. Hope you feel better soon. Hopefully that um, honey lemon tea does wonders for your throat. Bacon margarita. Yes, that's my favorite. Love it. Not banana pizza. I don't like banana pizza. You guys know that. I like bananas. I like pizza. I don't necessarily like them together. Oh, Fika-san. Thank you very much. Otsukare-sama-deshita. Coffee talk. Skida kara tottemo tanushikatta desu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sureshii. Thank you. Banana pizza. Yeah, like... Banana pizza, ba ne. Like Hansa, mi tiny. <laughs> Opinions on uh, pineapple, uh, pineapple on pizza. I don't think it's um, that bad. It's not for me personally, but <laughs> um, I, I don't think that it's a crime against God. <laughs> Whereas banana pizza, not so much. Let's see. Iti, thank you very much. Could you uh, name my tiny little cute Blohai with a Swedish nickname, please? Oh, sure. Blohai. A Swedish nickname for a Blohai. Hmm. What? Let's see. I'm trying to think of something that related to water. Mm. What would be a good Swedish nickname for a shark? What do you think about Glenn? That doesn't feel very Swedish, though. Mm. <laughs> Neil? Blueberry in Swedish? Probably not. Uh, what's a good one? Hmm. I don't know. I don't uh, I, like pet names in Swedish is so hard. 
Lila. Oh, that's pretty good. Thank you, chat. Okay, okay, we got something. So let's call it Lille Bloa. It means little blue. Because Bloa High means blue shark. So let's name him uh, Lille Bloa. Like little blue. I think that's how you spell it, if I remember correctly. I, I don't write much Swedish these days. Let's see. Maybe it's two L's. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's two L's. Okay, I looked it up. It's two L's. There we go. Lili Bloa. Okay, two L's. Yeah, this is the this is the name for your for your blow high itty. Here we go. Lili Bloa. Two L's. It's little blue, little blue guy. Here's the silly little blue guy, just like me. All right, uh, like I said, I'm really craving that pizza right now, so I'm gonna hop off and do that. I'm also gonna record some screams for a thing that I'm working on. It's gonna be exciting, and let's see, what day is it today? It is Sunday, so uh, if unless I am uh, very stupid and uh, let it slip my mind, we should have a schedule ready for next week where, where we'll be doing quite 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 a number of fun things if if we get the perms for it i am gonna i'm gonna try to get uh, a soul stream out and see how that goes and hopefully if the stars align i'll see if we can play some near if we can get started on near then that's gonna be the the next uh, type of stream that like really drags on like in the past, like um, with the Persona streams, those were the long streams. Those were the long streams that we did. But if we get into Nier, those are gonna be the long boys. And I'm just, oh, I'm so excited for that. Especially since if there's any any people that are completely new to Nier, if we're able to start with the Replicant, oh my god, it's gonna be so good. I just know that oh, everybody's gonna fall in love with the characters. It's gonna be brilliant. All right. Uh, let me just read this from Yuichiro san. Thank you very much. Thank you for the stream. Tomorrow's my birthday. I feel so old. Well, happy early birthday, and I'm sure you're not that old. I'm sure it's not that bad. <laughs> What's Nier? Nier is a game series that I am very much a fan of. Tsuken dakara mecha tanosimi. Yureshi. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that there's a few a few shoken with Nier. So that's going to be exciting if we're able to make that work. For uh, I also want to do a member stream. I want to do a breakdown of Lucifer because I don't think I've done that yet. We did a couple of really interesting things during the production of Lucifer, in both in terms of the recording and the mixing process. So that's going to be pretty cool. I believe that Aya gave me the go-ahead to show off a little bit about that. So members mix breakdowns is coming back in full swing. Okay, with all of that out of the way i'm just gonna move things over here a little bit please give me a moment real quick let's see mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, uh, ba -ba -ba -da. okay let's uh, let's do this let's save this and let me read this from hippie san arigatou gozaimasu aiku kun otsukare sama arigatou gozaimasu sweden to nihon no hikoki no え、超高便が出来るニュースは見たいかなえ、そうなの初耳です。いつもなんか日本に行った時になんか飛行機はね、なんか別の国で変わってしまった。え、普通にフィンランドで飛行機を変わっ、あ、超高便か。超、え、超
当てるよし嬉しい Yeah, but、uh, like usually、uh, uh, I have a layover in Finland whenever I'm going to Japan. I've never heard of direct flights from Japan. If they start doing that, I'm gonna be so grateful. I hate layovers so much. It's got Sweden ni asobini ku kara. I kuno osusume no spot ya omiage o osieto hushi na. Ma it's mo Stockholm no gamura stan o osusume des. えー、と魔法の耐久瓶の,のキキちゃんの設定のインスピレーションなところです。頑張ります、スターマンね。えー、それ以外に、えー、とゴッセンバーグ、えー、もおすすめです。なんかいろんな,なんかうなんかな美しいな、えー、とビルがたくさんに、えー、あります。そして、えー、とリセベルグっていうテ,テーマパークもえー、ありますね。はい。それはおすすめです。それ以外に、なんかもし、なんか冬の時に、えー、なんか旅行しますなら、えー、っと、北のなんか山もおすすめです。なんかノールランドとか、キルナとか、そういうみたいな。キルはね、もしなんか、オローラみたいなら、キルナ、えー、っていう場所をおすすめです。はい。ガムラスターン、綺麗な街だった。うんうんうん、そう、すごく綺麗。ガムラスターンは。そういや、で、どうせ、my recommended。キルラ、キルラじゃなくて、キルナ。キルナっていう,ていう場所。So, yeah, that, that's my recommendations for if you're going to Sweden. I recommend Stockholm. I recommend Gamla Stan. I recommend Gothenburg if you want to see some pretty architecture.、Uh, there's also l i s e b e r g which is an amusement park in Gothenburg. That's pretty cool. And you, if you want to go skiing, if you're going in the winter, you can go up to Norland,、uh, Dalana, or Kiruna. If you go to Kiruna, then you might be lucky to see some northern lights if you're in,、uh, like, there at the right time. So, yeah. Those are my recommendations. Okay, thank you all so much for coming, and、uh, I'll be signing off and getting busy with my other stuff before I have to go to bed. Lord knows if I'm gonna go to bed on time, but we'll see how that goes. Thank you all so much, and I hope that you have a wonderful morning, day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, and、uh, yeah, take care of yourself for me. Bye bye.